Good morning, evening, Stratford, Connecticut. It's time for some scrolling. And of course, whenever we go scrolling, you know, I don't do it alone. I am joined in the studio by the legendary Steve of the Dead. How are you feeling today, Steve? How much? <laughs> no, 2,000. And you where? <laughs> yeah, I could be there in 20 minutes. Yeah, no, 20 minutes. But seriously, 2,000. You better bring it. All I'm Ooh. saying is I've got the stuff. Oh. Right? Nice. Secret deal. Well, I fed up a bit because last time you messed me around and you sent me down the wrong street. So 2,000 at that point, right? <laughs> right, okay. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Nice. Okay, bye. Okay, sounds like it's getting done. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Steve, are you there oh, with us here? Um, it's Stratford, Connecticut. Here we go. Was 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 the microphone on? <laughs> microphone was on the whole time. <laughs> it's the Steve with the bunk game impression. Hot. Li- yeah, I was listening back to him uh, earlier in the uh, week, and it cracked me up so much. <laughs> That's a rare impression, a Bunkay impression. You don't get those often, but on the scrolls, you definitely do. And we are here. It is time for the Density Scrolls, which uh, I've entitled Deep Rooted Hate. And uh, some of you in chat, I see, have successfully uh, determined that we are going to be talking about the Cannon Brothers tonight. And that is definitely true. We are getting into the Cannon Brothers hate, if you can believe it, because uh, that hate for them... Lasted a long time, and uh, it started many, many years ago, if you can believe it. Um, so we are going to get into all about the, those, those, those nasty Cannon Brothers that that's Phil hates so much. We're going to see where that comes from and uh, see if the, they, are, they are worthy of the hatred that uh, Phil gave them, okay? But, of course, you're all ready to make your own decisions on that. But, Steve, go ahead. I feel like they're not going to be worthy of the amount of hate that Phil gives them. I don't know what's <laughs> giving me that impression, though. <laughs> okay. I, well, of course, we're going to see at the end of the night if those, if those uh, that prediction holds true. Uh, but uh, let's get to it. We're going to start, though, of course, with little top haters because uh, top haters is a good source uh, for for many uh, news stories and, and hatred <laughs> sources. <laughs> So first, before we get to that, latest breaking from the FGC. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. So first, we're going to start with uh, the disclaimer that he puts on top haters, <laughs> because you have to start with that, right? We can't not have that. Yeah. It, so we're going to start with the uh, mandatory. The, Whenever you enter tophaters.com. We have to read the disclaimer. So let's read this real quick before we move on. Uh, disclaimer is: you're going to find opinions here that go against the norm. All right, guys. Uh, you're going to find out things that people don't want you to know. <laughs> We do not claim that we will be correct all the time, just most of the time. All right. Uh, If your name, internet nickname, or other likeness is used on this site, we apologize. This site freely exercises the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. (laughs) I feel like saluting. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, We do not intend to intentionally insult anyone. We just state the facts. Okay. Uh, Do not try to sue us because it won't work. I love how he says us. Do not try to sue us. Us. Uh, you are hereby warned that you might be offended by what you see. If you are, you chose to continue on to the site after reading the disclaimer of your own free will. If you have a problem, send it to hate mail email address. And that hate mail went to uh, I hate top haters at hotmail.com is the link. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was hotmail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he did make a actual uh, website for that. Nice hotmail. I said, we mm-hmm. didn't start the hate, but we've damn well had enough. It's time to hate back. Okay, we didn't start the hate. It's time to hate back. Sounds good. Uh, Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it also, if you don't like it, you can suck it with green lettering. You can suck it. Because Degeneration X. Uh Uh-huh. Very modern. Very cool. Very hip at this point. Break it down. (laughs) P.S. I don't give a fuck what the site looks like, so don't complain that it looks like shit. I know it does. (laughs) Well, thanks. (laughs) Wait, you know, that's really going to like attract people away from the well-designed other site. To your piece of shit, basic HTML. Uh, but, but thanks, I guess thanks for telling us that, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I have no clue what the idea was there, but there we go. Uh, we're in. Okay, so let's get to the next. Uh, I, I thought tonight would be fun. There's so many different articles here we can read. But to give us a little mm-hmm. bit of a structure, we're going to read through some editorials that have been written on this <laughs> side. Editorial style. 
<laughs> so before we get to the Cannon Brothers stuff, let's get to a little ed- some editorials. So we're, this mm. one is from December twenty seventh, two thousand and three. A twenty one year old individual uh, here. Yeah, mm-hmm. twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, twenty one. Uh, yeah. They're at it again. The sales that never were. Welcome to America, folks. I hope all of you enjoyed the Christmas holiday. Unfortunately, I had to work from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. today at Circuit City, only to realize that they're at it again. Okay, this was when Phil was a working man, one mm-hmm. of the man of the people. Uh, uh, and that's right. Once again, stores are cashing in on the commercialism of the holiday season with their after Christmas sales. Best Buy, Staples, Circuit City, Walmart, and a load of other stores are all offering their so-called deals in one form or another. And once again, they're just lying to you and trying to fool your ass into getting into the store and buying something more expensive than you wanted. Plus, all accessories and protection plans. Pure profit, of course. But hey, does, does, <laughs> like, does he know that like Boxing Day sales have been a thing for like ever? <laughs> like, <laughs> like this. He's he's explaining the bad points about sales. But one of the bad yeah. points is you go in and buy other stuff. That's mm-hmm. the that's the negative. Yeah. Um, so watch out for that negative of you might buy other stuff if you don't have any self control. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so we got a comp- compact Presario notebook PC with Intel Pentium 4 processors, 2.4 gigahertz. Insane. Uh, regular price is $1,449, but you save $200. Uh, and you get the mail-in rebate, of course, and you get under 1000 bucks. A nice mm-hmm. Pentium 4 notebook with fi- 512 megabytes of DDR RAM, 40 gigabyte hard drive, and a few other goodies. All for $1,000. After Sorry, all for $1,000 after rebate, which is just another scam. Hoping you'll forget to send them in. Okay, mm. <laughs> so if you don't send them in, they're negative. Okay, thanks for that. Yeah, but I mean, uh, like two hundred and fifty dollars is riding on it, so it's worth <laughs> sending it in, isn't it? Yeah, if it's that much, I'm fucking sending it in. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, the I'll cat- fucking fill it out in the store and post it in the post box outside. <laughs> <laughs> but the catch, they don't have them. This notebook has been sold out since before Christmas at every Circuit City in the tri-state area. And it's not available for special orders, so no rain checks allowed. As you probably guessed, this is the same for pretty much every notebook that has a red dot sale this week, as well as 95% of digital cameras. What about desktop computers? The supposed red dot sales on those are exactly the same prices as from before Christmas. Some sale. And the big scam continues, yet people are still picking, packing the stores and will be all weekend. Pretty damn pathetic, if you ask me. See you guys next week for a New Year's special. So, a very calm start to the Den C Scroll. This is like just a... a, mm-hmm. a a kind of interesting, uh, not interesting, just a weird take on sales. That if uh, if they don't, if you go in there and buy other stuff, that's a negative that, of the sale. That's not, uh, it's not the the person's fault that is buying the things. It's the sales fault. So mm-hmm. Phil is this marketing side. Phil coming in hot here. Uh, He's just venting, and he's just like, I'm fed <laughs> up that I have to work. Yeah, <laughs> twelve hour days. I get you know, like it's a main thing. Next, we're gonna go to uh, MapQuest. Uh, MapQuest is the fucking shiznit. Is the title <laughs> <of this one>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, there's an address here it's not i already checked it i'm not doxing anybody it doesn't say whose it is so it's not phil's address mm-hmm. it's just whatever random address or whatever but um here we go so i'm sure that many of you have used MapQuest before to get driving directions to some place you otherwise had no idea how to get to i use this free service on new year's eves of all times to get to a party at a house i've never been to already fashionably late i quickly typed in the addresses printed out the directions and sprinted out the door I remember these times, by the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my friend Kong was driving, and we drove for about 20 minutes out into the middle of fucking nowhere. Pitch black, no sense of direction or where we were, and we finally arrive at our destination after a good t- 35 minutes, making us an hour and 35 minutes late. And a mere why, were you, <laughs> why were you already an hour late? Yeah, that's he's already fashionably late, so come on. <laughs> you can't blame MapQuest for that, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> but a mere two hours or so away from midnight and kicking in the new year. So who's at this happening party? Absolutely fucking nobody. Why? Because the party is at a closed farmer's market, <laughs> at least according to MapQuest. <laughs> I began to stare down the paper in disbelief. We had followed the directions to a T. Big up T. How could we possibly <laughs> end up with such a wrong place where we were in the race for time and getting some ass? And getting some <laughs> ass? <laughs> He was hoping to get laid uh, in this. I, I know Jenna's blocking it for you guys. Hold on. Well, Jenna's gonna be gone in 20 seconds, so you can see the same thing. But he said this: How could we possibly? How could we have possibly ended up at such a wrong place where we were, we were in a race for time and getting ass? <laughs> nice. 
Feels just separate from the arse thing as well, because I'm sure we're just going to return back to it. But yeah. how could we have possibly ended up at such a wrong place when we were in a race for time? Oh, I don't know. What about that race for time made you not check that the address was correct? <laughs> what about leading you to a closed farmer's market rather than the actual place where the arse was? You know? Yeah, if you really wanted that ass, I mean, you might want to, not want to be that. You have to double check, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. And not be late. Yeah, uh, take a look for yourself. It says the place. Uh, but mm -hmm. oh, and by the way, by the way, I can't scroll down anymore because it's pissing me off. But anyways, the 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 mistake here, and I'll, I'll save the picture so you can see it. The mistake here is that MapQuest itself. Here, I'll put bring it up mm -hmm. even more. MapQuest itself. Uh, the 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 address is a road, as you see from the top. Mm -hmm. But it actually went to Bronson Ave, okay? Oh, he didn't check! What a dickhead! So he, he, he did not check. Oh, no, 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 wait. He says there, end at 1174 Bronson Road at the bottom. So, so it should... Yeah, yeah, so, like, it's a mis it's a definitely a, a map quest mistake. Mm. But you one he could have checked for it's himself you as check. well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, anyways, there we go. <laughs> But uh, that's that. That's uh, his 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 rant of map quest is there. There's more at the bottom here. I will read a little bit. I know you can't see. It's real quick. Uh, I could not fucking believe what I was seeing. We had typed in the correct address and done everything right. Map quest is just too fucking dumb to know the difference between Bronson Road <laughs> and Bronson <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, map quest should have known. <laughs> that would be fine if we weren't 10 fucking miles in the opposite direction from each other. So let me get this straight. If I put in Brooklyn Ave, New York, would it have driven me off the fucking end of the Brooklyn Bridge instead? <laughs> and the kicker is at the end of the page. It blatantly says end at Bronson Road, while less than a fucking centimeter above it was clearly ends at Bronson Ave. The same thing I just showed you. I guess yeah. map quest is run by a bunch of drunk retards who don't understand the difference between types of streets, which I guess should be expected from a free website that thousands of people use on a daily basis for reliable driving directions. Save yourself some trouble and use Yahoo directions. Ironic how the company <laughs> that's going under is way more accurate. Okay. MapQuest. Burn. Never never to return. MapQuest. <laughs> MapQuest. Yeah. Well, okay, Rip Yahoo that. as well. <laughs> All right. Little, this is too fun not to do. This is not. This is <gasps> WrestleMania 20. Oh, <laughs> come on. Let's go. So WrestleMania 20, I was, I, I was, there was a short period of time when I was into wrestling, when I was in high mm -hmm. school, like, I don't know, 13, 14 ish, uh, you know, St Stone Cold was the hype and Rock was yeah, hype. Yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah. Every, that was a the wrestling attitude was, era. Yeah. The peak, man. That was the peak. Yeah. Yeah. Peak. So this is past that for me. I'm already out of it. I have no clue of half the people he's got to mention here, but I think it's still pretty funny to go through this. So <laughs> this is WrestleMania 20 and I just finished watching WrestleMania 20 with a bunch of friends. And I want to emphasize bunch of friends. Uh, just keep that in your mind, okay? Bunch of mm -hmm. friends. He said he watched mm -hmm. it with a bunch of friends, okay? Keep okay. that in the memory banks. Yep. We're going to move on. Overall, a great show with a few rough edges. Here's the skinny. Uh, Bubba Dub I said, whatever, whatever. Ultimo Dragon's entrance. He has a long flowing cape on, comes out and trips on it, center stage, falling to one knee. Then he tries to play it off and goes to the ring climbs up in the turnbuckle and slips and falls to the mat. Hilarious. Okay. Yeah, so, so he botched. Yeah. yeah so he yep. trips on it center stage and he also climbs up the turnbuckle and slips and falls to the mat. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. You want to see that clip guys and tell me if you see the same thing Phil saw? How about that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do uh, that. Let's we, hopefully wrestling. not get done in by the WWE. <laughs> Wait, well, I think it's, I know this one. Isn't this because it's raining? It's, it's like outside in a stadium and it's raining, so the it's a bit wet. You know more details than me already, but the, I'll show yeah. you what. Let's see if you said we heard. Remember, we heard center stage, and he center stage, and uh, he slips and falls onto the mat. This is seven mm -hmm. sixteen seconds. Oh, was it the one with the water thing? So there's that, that, the slip already yeah, happened, yeah. guys. Bit of a slip. It. Bit of a slip there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me. That was the yeah. slip at center stage. Let's see that again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair enough. He goes yep. through. Yep, 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 yep. By the way, it might be this might get uh, clipped out of the of the replay. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and here we go. Yeah. Let's go to the top. And he fell to the mat, right? Right. Yes, he did. Yes, you it was saw hilarious. That. Wow, look at this hilarious yeah. fall. This this dude is gonna <laughs> he's gonna slip on the turnbuckle and fall to the mat. Let me let me see it again real quick. We're going to. Uh, he's gonna climb up the turnbuckle and slip and fall to the mat. Hilarious. Let's check that again. We're walking up. <laughs> you see that's super blind man. <laughs> Look at this. We're gonna go to the corner. And okay. I'm, I'm missing the slip on the mat part, but okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, so that enough. led me down a dangerous path of checking everything he said here. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So then I get a little bit more like, okay, well, right. if we can lie about that, let's see what else we can lie about. Uh, Brock All super right, close. So Brock up. Was, yeah, yeah, Brock and Goldberg, a terrible match, infamously terrible. Yeah, that was yeah. true. That was true. Uh, Rey yeah, Mysterio yeah, yeah, yeah. coming out as the Flash. Uh, no lie. I love this. No lie. Extremely. It's like <laughs> Phil. Phil. Rey Mysterio is well known for being a comic book nerd. He's dressed up as like so many comic book characters over the year. Of course, he's gonna like. Why? Why would no lie? He dressed up like a comic book character. So <laughs> Chris Jericho came out like a rock star. This. No lie. Ex extremely similar logo on the chest. Like it's not yeah. trying to be it. Isn't he literally yeah. trying to be the Flash? Like it's yeah. not like it's, trying he's to be. He's always he done it. Yeah. He's always done it. Like the Joker, um, the uh, the Punisher, um, not the Punisher. What's the purple one? Uh, oh fuck! I can't I'm, not, I'm not a comic book guy, so I yeah, can't yeah, tell yeah, you. But, yeah. but, anyway. but he does a bunch of them. He does a bunch of them. He's like well known for being a, a Mysterio, the actual Mysterio, the Phantom. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Al Sandwich, the Phantom. So he's not um, trying to like just loads of them. He's not trying yeah. to not be the Flash. He's literally using the Flash logo, using mm -hmm. everything, right? The same colors. Okay, let's take a look at that. Uh, by the way, let me finish though. Extremely similar logo on the chest, full red, skin tight leather outfit, and pointy yellow ears. He looked like a fucking DC brand condom. Hilarious. And we're going mm -hmm. all bold for that. Let's watch mm -hmm. that real quick and see if you th agree with this assessment. It's right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, again, 20 seconds. Remember, this is not the yep. Flash logo. It's extremely similar, but not. Oh, yeah. It's, so it's a little bit different, I think. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not thinking DC brand um, is that condom. Is that a DC brand condom or, or what are you no, guys feeling no, about no, no, this no, no, look? No. Okay, let's go next. Keep going. No. Uh, saddest moment seeing Bobby Heenan so skinny and hearing how hoarse his voice is after battling mm -hmm. cancer. Okay, big ups for shouting Bad. that out, Phil. Worst yeah, moments. Bad. Worst moments. <laughs> okay, this one is, is, is the reason this is in here because this revelation about to drop. I really believe Phil thinks wrestling is real not all the way real but more real than most logical people at least 21 years old mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna seeing uh, what's the worst moment okay jenna's blocking i'm gonna have to make jenna a little smaller after this one but hold on uh seeing hbk uh. get legitimately ripped open after smashing his head into the ring post after a slingshot from benoit ouch that was a fucking gusher and a half, too. So No, they're bladed. Yeah, so Steve, Steve, wait, I would ask you, it's legitimately hurt, hurt. ripped open, to me, sounds like Phil thinks it's real. What do you think to that, though? Is that a crazy statement? Yeah, in <laughs> wrestling, you, the way that wrestlers typically get blood is like a little blade, a little razor. Yeah. They'll hide somewhere, and then like when the camera's not looking, they'll, they'll nick themselves, and mm -hmm. you know, then you get blood. But occasionally, it does happen accidentally. Like if someone bangs their head yeah. off like a, a sharp corner, or um, like with with um, Brock Lesnar just like elbowing the the crap out of Randy Orton's skull. It, it can happen. It can happen legitimately as well. So I think that's what he means. He means it's but not a Michael's cut, then, bladed. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. means it wasn't a deliberate attempt to get blood, but it is like they've they've since come out and said you know because at the time I think this was just as blading was being banned. Um, so like like for a lot of the period of the wwf wwe uh, blading has been banned okay so okay. um yeah sometimes wrestlers have to sort of like go oh no it was a hard way he hit me and i caught the wrong <laughs> bit and you know something like that okay but so I, it's, but it's, see it's it's like you know as as they've talked about this match both triple h and Shawn michaels bladed yeah so but they made it look like it was so why legit. don't we phil a, took it as legit let's take a look at that spot <laughs> that phil thought mm -hmm. was real how about that little wrestling mm -hmm. analysis today because it's mm -hmm. very funny um mm -hmm. it's coming up right after this he lands his signature diving this guy this guy this channel. Oh, shout out to wrestling bios as well oh yeah, yeah. i've never <laughs> I seen love wrestling channel. bios he goes right. through all the match kind of and yeah, it's, yeah. It's, really, it's pretty cool but he's he, he, he's doing the reliving the war at the moment so gets hit with sweet chin music John makes the cover. Move, fuck Benoit a kick. Saves the match by so let's Hunter see what Phil thought was a legitimate hit. Benoit pay, but that doesn't go too well. Benoit gets Sean on the mat and he tries to lock in a sharpshooter. And if you pay attention, you can see. Sean. Okay, so he's. I mean, I know you can't see this in real time. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doubting Phil for this, but he is holding the blade in his in his hand right now already. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But but I'm you know I, I'm not expecting you to see that in real time. But John you know, but but look, right let's here. look at the thing that no, Phil. No, but thought if really you know. Yeah, if you, if you look know for it, yeah. what to look for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris Benoit. 
Crispin Wah. Yeah, we get yeah, Crispin Wah. John gets catapulted into the top. Look, look at this. Boom, oh, there. That was what Phil thought was real, guys. That yeah, was what and Phil you... thought was real. Like, the guys. Yeah. Hand in see... the way. <laughs> see the moment he gets what the collar. fuck? John gets catapulted into the top turn. Right there, there you that. go. Boom. Are you serious? I mean, come on. Yeah. If, as a wrestling fan, you've seen the same things 18,000 times. Yeah, you know what blading is as a wrestling <laughs> fan. You should John know what blading is. Into the top and it's like right there. Down. As his hand hits the top like that, his yeah. head. The moment he he's holding color. the blade so that it hits his head. Into the top Boom. Oh Boom. my god, go. guys. And Phil mm. thought that was real. Yeah, I think he thought it was hard way. He yeah. thought that he thought it was hard way. You can see him as he goes up, guys. He's cut. He cuts. So as he goes, Taco Chan, is that true? Please tell me that's true. <laughs> no. John Rambo had to explain to DSP when they break glass bottles on each other that it isn't real. Please tell Taco... me he didn't know what sugar glass was. Please, as you can see, that would be amazing. I need that in my life. I now I'm not expecting knowledge. Phil to watch it, but as he goes up, actually, I think he cuts his forehead. See, it's right there. You can see mm. the cut. His hands right there, and it's already cut. He's, it... It, now no, he's look. He's, look see, a, there's blood already right there. I think that's hair. That's no, no, his hair. With I, th I think there's red. See, do you think he's cut as he's on the floor? I think he cut. Going he might up. have done. Yeah, look. I think now. Look, look right now. There's already red. Yeah, but see? his hand isn't near his head until he hits. No, the no, post, no. Watch, so. watch, watch. He, I. This is. I, I, this. There you cut, go. It's he's there. Cutting here, as he's yeah. on the way. Yeah, yeah. Cut. It's there. Now it's done, and now it's the there. blood is already coming out. Yeah. So that now you've hit the post. When he turns around, it's already bleeding. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. anyway, so gotcha. <laughs> Phil thought this was legitimate. <laughs> Phil thought I'm that surprised. Was real. I, yeah, he cut pre-launch wooden knocks. I'm surprised by that as well. I assumed he would cut as his hand went to his head as he hit the turnbuckle, because that's normally when you do it. You know, as as your hand is going towards your head for something like a hit or a bounce <laughs> or something. Yeah. You know. Uh, so nothing much uh, else. Uh, the play by match bit. The play by match assessment is a good. Not only could they <laughs> could could can't these women wrestle, but they didn't get naked. What the fuck, Vince? <laughs> Yet another soft core porn, porn attempt that didn't even tease. <laughs> and the cameraman didn't get any get many good shits of TNA. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cameraman, I want better shits of TNA. Hmm. I know that was a misspelling, but he's definitely drunk at this point writing this. You could, Goldberg Lesnar <laughs> match. What a fucking what a shitty fucking match. Yeah. Yes. Fair. Yeah. What yep, a shitty fair. fucking match. Two big guys walk around for the ring for ten minutes. Grapple, more walking, spear, F five, spear, jack man to match. Huh? This was supposed to be the main event. No wonder he was put in the middle of the show. I guess Vince did good predicting that it would suck balls. No, the fans turned on it. <laughs> they thought it was supposed to be like it was gonna be good. But the fans knew that they were both leaving after yeah. WrestleMania. So the fans shit on that match. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was Vince knowing that he was going to be bad. But, yeah. So positive side, Phil here, best moments. Mm. All the right guys winning titles and deserving it. <laughs> so they mm. deserve it. The Rock's usual antics pre-match. And The Rock doing the pre people's elbow on Ric Flair and imitating his famous strut in a ridiculous, exaggerated manner before dropping a bomb on him. <laughs> To be fair, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Kim at doing a shooting star press to the outside on top of Nunzio and Jamie Noble fucking up and driving his head and neck into Nunzio's shoulder instead of getting caught. Fucking hardcore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never I've never liked Billy Kidman's shooting star press. It always looks like he's going to hurt someone. So... <laughs> Uh, Austin mm. stunning. I'm skipping some of this. Uh, he, uh, Andrew Dager's return. He's still not the dead man. Paul Bear and Jude's come out. Out take comes Taker in a long black leather coat and a leather. He's not hat. the dead man. Dude, this is him coming back as the dead man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, here we go. When he says, uh, I like the way they did this. Somehow going back to pure dead man wouldn't make sense. So going back to pure dead man wouldn't make sense, but in this way it did make sense. Yeah, but you sense. just like, I mean, that's that is. That's like literally the return of the dead. Fucking Paul Bearer comes out. <laughs> <laughs> like, Kane's there in the ring and you're all like, oh, it's the American back. Oh, yes. And fucking you know, like Paul Bearer's out with the urn and then Undertaker's out with the big hat and the long coat. He's, he's the fucking dead man. And he's like, still not the dead man. It's, it's For whatever. sake. It's, it's so dumb. Uh, last oh. bit point here. I like this. So he says, uh, Chris Benoit finally defeating Triple H by submission of the crossface, and, and Triple H finally losing the fucking title legitimately to a qualified challenger. Benoit has always been a top guy, along with Guerrero, in terms of talent and performance, but he never got the push to get into the top matches. Now both of them are finally getting the respect they deserve, and that fucking no-sell, no-load, Triple H is finally off the top of the food chain. 
I think we found the reason he doesn't like <laughs> WWE that much anymore because Triple H is like top dog now, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, real quick, yeah, but, uh, to be fair, yeah. this was this is pre um, Reign of Terror Triple okay. H. Okay. So Philly's not going to have a good few years following this <laughs> in terms of wrestling. <laughs> no load. <laughs> Careful, no load. Okay, so that was, <laughs> this is. Remember when Phil said he watched had watched it with friends? Remember that part? Yeah, a bunch guys? of friends, wasn't it? A bunch. Right, so this is the I best believe. post WWE uh, WrestleMania twenty log. Uh, this means he was an IRC chat. I believe it's mm-hmm. during the during WWE and uh, dur- during the WrestleMania, and this is the friends he's talking about. Mm-hmm. But I could be wrong. That's just my take. Uh, but this guy says, uh, this Genjiro says, if they did want them to boo Lesnar, why the hell did they choreograph such a shitty match? Considering Brock is capable of a lot more, although Goldberg isn't. Thought he already had his time in the NFL anyway. DSP, DSP says, this, hold on to your hats here, <gasps> uh, WWE doesn't choreograph big matches. No! Usually they leave it to the wrestlers. No, no. Like, how can you think that? How? How? The big matches. The big, the big matches. matches. They don't like choreograph <laughs> all the fucking house shows. <laughs> the big matches. Yeah, if Do you think WWE? <laughs> Do you think Vince McMahon never sat down with Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Chris Benoit and went, oh, "Go on, do what you want. It's fine." <laughs> you guys take care of it. My Triple Threat match. God. You guys got this. <laughs> They have, like, people working backstage to do it with them. Like, you have, like, booking agents. Like, like fucking Pat Patterson and um, Dean yeah. Malenko and that. You know, you have, oh, I mean. Like you said, okay. if you said, like, okay, they don't, in, in the, you know, the matches that aren't on TV and they have, mm. like, you know, in New Jersey, Connecticut, Tuesday night, not on TV, whatever. <laughs> All right, then I believe it. Maybe they don't choreograph keep going, it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep but going, let's keep going. Yeah, we're not done. Uh, unless it's something ridiculous like double flying somersault off the big fist. Very said, I'm pretty sure the outcome is predetermined, and wrestlers just fill in the spice a space in between. DSP said, I didn't say the outcome wasn't predetermined. Duh. I said they do the choreography. That has nothing to do with who wins. Just what happens between the bell and between who pins who. You know what? Just shut up, moron. Why did I bother? <laughs> <laughs> So if if people that don't like wrestling are listening, Phil is saying sorry. that at big matches, yeah, sorry, number one, sorry, but number two, at a, the biggest match on the calendar, WrestleMania, they let the wrestlers do whatever the fuck they want, but they just make sure they know who wins and who pins who. That is right. mindless. I think the only, I think he must be thinking of Mania 18 when it was The Rock and Hogan and they went <laughs> off script and flipped things around because they planned their match out and then obviously when they got in the ring and realized the crowd were like completely the other way than they thought yeah um they they sort of like improvised yeah. on the fly and got to the end um and there's like occasionally you get someone like CM Punk or John Cena or Stone Cold who will sort of like call a couple of audibles here and there and maybe you know go in with like oh yeah just a few points but fill in the blanks yeah, yeah. as opposed to say like your randy savage who will like oh your ddb who will like properly sketch out every move yeah. but to to, uh, to think <laughs> that they don't choreograph the matches is mental <laughs> It is proper mark. It is proper. It's still real to me, damn yes. it. Yes, absolutely. Oh. That's my first oh, thought was. God. Dude, how could oh. you think? They just, anyways. So he also thinks that insanely, <laughs> okay, don't forget the other one. <laughs> so that was like a plug as well. <laughs> it was like a plug. <laughs> yeah. Join the hate army for stuff like this. <laughs> this is the this yeah. is the best post. Mo- lo- like he chose this. He chose to show us this, guys. This is the absolute best post yeah. uh, w- W20 log. What the fuck? Also, that's not how you spell choreograph. No, he says <laughs> that twice. Oh, off, he does... off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Enough wrestling. That's just a little funny thing. I thought it was very yeah, yeah, strange yeah. that I, I want to know, as now I want to know even more, how much Phil thought was real and how thought Phil didn't think yeah. was real. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there, like I need to know more about how Phil like watched wrestling. And, and it, I feel like maybe going through like the Smart Guys podcasts uh-huh. with, with John Rambo because... It's so integral to especially who he is at this moment. Do you remember? This is all like all his rants of wrestling promos, all his stuff with like um, the, the the tournament to rival Evo Impact. And yep. it's like, we're going to have a bit where you can do promos and cut stuff, you know, on, on other um, 
fighters and things. <laughs> so much of his life has been like influenced by wrestling. I need to know like how much of it and how how he consumed it throughout his life and, with who. And how there's a point, yeah. you know. When you realize in the... Yeah, everyone. I know everyone has the time and they're like, I'm not... You know, at first you think it's real and then you get a little older mm-hmm. and they say, I'm not sure. Like, hey, I'm... You know, like, I think it's kind of real, but I'm not sure. And then you get to mm-hmm. be about, I don't know, 14, 15, that you're like, yeah, I know it's fake, but it's still cool. And that's cool, mm-hmm. right? I understand it's fake, but it's still entertaining. But Phil, I, I really want to know that line, right? I really want to know that line. And like scientists said, I want to know how long he believed in Santa. Great question. Great question. He might have been one of those holdouts, you know, like, uh, I really. All right, so I'm scrolling down here to move past wrestling. We're going to get to our main topic here, Cannon Brothers, because there's a lot of room, a lot of ground to cover. Uh, we're going to go to Monday, August 18th, 2003, which is coming up on 20 years ago. I'd already passed 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago now. Uh, and this is a lot to read. We're not going to read all of it, but we're going to read um, some of it. Uh, DSP here with some more news and updates. First, a correction from my Jason versus Freddy review. Very important. Very important. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> people were crying out for this correction. <laughs> Apparently, the guy that plays Jason has never played him before, as I mm-hmm. suggested in the review. He actually did have a part in other movies, but his extras, a cook, and other minor roles. But he never actually played the role of Jason himself. Honestly, I don't give a crap, but after getting lambasted by a bunch of internet geeks who made fun of me on IRC for making such a huge error, I figured I should correct (laughs) myself. (laughs) I still think the guy did an awesome job. If he didn't, I would have thought he had experience in the role before. (laughs) Right. So. (laughs) Like, Jason is like... Like the hardest role in, on earth to play is that Jason. The, well, with well, the you mask just are like, yeah, yeah, just keep going. You just walk silently, no uh, no lines. You never die. That's what I thought Except it was so the funny. End he said, he literally said, I thought he had experience in the role before. <laughs> Dude, you just, you walk slowly and kill people. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't even have to, like, be- you barely need makeup. You've got a mask. You don't even talk. <laughs> you don't, even you don't talk, talk yeah. at all. <laughs> Great. It's not like fucking Freddy Krueger or something, you yeah. know, where it's an actual person who needs makeup and has lines. Yeah, yeah, it's not that like that's hard acting. Like if you got to do mm. J- uh, Freddy, you know, but uh, Jason's yeah, a little yeah. different. But anyways, apparently SRK is being blown up with lots of new friend of uh, threads <laughs> concerning uh, Triforce, the Empire, and a bunch of other crap. It seems like the more Triforce and the Empire try to defend themselves and explain what they are, the worse job they do at achieving their goals. It's hard for me to take a side on this issue. I've won money from the Triforce and a bet at ECC after beating two Empire Arcadia members in Super Turbo back-to-back, and Triforce paid up. However, he didn't show up to ECC in person to stand outside for the entire weekend, as was the conditions of the bet. So it's kind of 50-50 on the guy. Because <laughs> he paid the money but didn't do the other part of the bet, which was he was supposed to stand outside the entire weekend. So there we go. Uh, well, anyway. you, I bet yeah. he was like, right, okay, it's just a money match. And, and in Phil's head, he's like, yeah. And then you know, the loser has to stand out. And he's like, yeah, whatever, mate. Yeah, yeah like, I think that's like, the, that's like the dumb part like no one cares about. But of course, Phil yeah. cared about it. And he literally says, I'm 50-50 on him. 50-50 on him. Yep. <laughs> Come on. I've spoken to him personally over the internet. And when you actually talk to him normally and he talks to you without the overdramatic bull crap he likes to use, he seems like a pretty decent guy. But then I go to SRK. Does that, does that ring familiar? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyone else like that, you know, guys? Anyone else? Yeah. Uh, but then I go to SRK and see this guy in a shirt that says Emperor <laughs> down the arm and with power. Big up Emperor. Like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the guy hand, uh, the guy, the guy hand to hand in the, oh, had a hand. Okay. I think he meant had a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Drunk, drunk side fill here. Uh, had a hand in the Nestor is off Team East Coast. The Marvel's talking about he paid off Ricky Ortiz's debt to the Cannons, allowing him to participate in Evo. How was this any of his business? Shouldn't Ricky Maybe pay off his own debts? Bomb. Oh, <laughs> oh we'll read that's that. Phil. <laughs> Big ups down four punch. Legend. Massive member so, bomb. You are a legend, dude. Thank you. Congrats to everyone that got it. <laughs> Banana Jones. August. Yeah, I'm watching <laughs> <laughs> Legend, dude. And congrats on the gout pull after that. You earned that gout pull. 
Uh, anyways, the guy had a hand in Esther of Team Coast at Marvel Girls. He paid off Ricky Ortiz's debt to the cans, allowed him to proceed at Evo. How was this getting of his business? Shouldn't Ricky have been of his own debts? He apparently tried to get Josh Wigfall off the 5 vs. 5 team, among numerous other things. So honestly, I don't know what to say about this guy. I'm going to meet him in person, have a discussion with him before I draw any conclusions. Mm-hmm. All right. So try for I know I, I want to little, be there for that discussion. I I teased a little Triforce stuff on the Thursday mm-hmm. show, but we're gonna we're gonna hold off on Triforce this week because I would the cannons have there's enough there's enough cannon stuff to fill in a show. We'll do a whole Triforce episode in the future, I promise, including learning if tri, if if DSP got banned for showing Triforce's penis pic. I'll let you know in the future. Sorry to anyone that was mm-hmm. disappointed. We won't find that answer tonight. I know people were very interested. Edging in that. people. Yes, in future, exactly. you will. But <laughs> yes. no. uh, anyways, however, I do think that everybody should chill on SRK with the hating. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Aren't we at tophaters.com? <laughs> yeah. Tophaters.com is selling up to stop the hate. All right. <laughs> a lot of it is just getting to the point of stupid, senseless, and dumb. All you're doing is making more Empire members like Gaming Night and. Nightmare might post and make huge novels on unintelligible. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! If this keeps up, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody involved in Empire Threads is banned from SRK. Right? Right? <laughs> Sound good? He just he has like no... good? he has like no self awareness. Zero. Zero in this mile long post. At least it's on his own website. But this is at least on his own website. But come on. Uh, all right. Speaking of being banned, here we go. Here we go. Here we get into the deep rooted hatred. This is 2003. Okay. So speaking of being banned, as many of you already know, I'm still banned from Showbook and, and and have been ever since Evo. I recently got some information that makes the cannons look like a bunch of hypocrites, and I think it's pretty interesting. All right. So you ready to hear why the cannons are a bunch of hypocrites? I was banned mm-hmm. from SRK on Thursday of EVO for posting live EVO updates. I was the mm-hmm. only person doing so at the time. I broke the stories about Sanford getting arrested for jumping on NYC turnstile, as well as everything that happened in casual play, such as Daigo perfect, perfecting the, the best U.S. Uh, Guilty Gear player. Unfortunately, some untrue rumors about fights breaking out at EVO also surfaced, and I posted those as well. Mm-hmm. However... I removed such rumors when they were proven to be false, but that wasn't enough for the for Ponder, Tony Cannon. He decided to delete both of my threads of live evil updates. So I posted again in the official evil updates thread and said, whoever deleted my threads is gay because I'm uh-huh. the only person going giving live updates and I'm the first person to break stories like Sam for getting arrested. Well, Tony didn't like that, so he banned me from SRK. I wasn't going to let that stop me from providing the Street Fighter community with live news updates. <laughs> so I used my website as my outlet for news. I received over 3,000 unique hits and 90,000 total hits over the course of EVO weekend. So apparently a lot of people used and appreciated used and appreciated my live <laughs> news feed. In fact, some people have told me that Top Haters was the best source of information for a tournament ever. And I've received many compliments, which I appreciate. All right, all right, all right. He spelled compliments there as in compliments of the chef, you know, compliments of the house, yeah. something free, a gift, not compliments as in positive recognition. This is one hundred percent. People are saying, people are saying this. People are saying yeah, yeah. he got, he probably got one yep. email saying, "Good job, man. That's cool. Good job. Thanks." Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, but I was just trying to get the results out ASAP rather than making my many making fellow gamers wonder what the fuck was going on at Evo. There's nobody, nothing worse than wondering what the fuck is going on in a major you can't attend but are really interested in the outcomes, and then nobody gives results for days and days. All right. Anyway, you would think the story ends here, in, but it doesn't. In fact, it takes a very interesting turn. So before we I would just that, like to say yeah, though, because he <laughs> he posted two updates, two live thread updates. So he had two threads going. Yes. And there's an official Evo thread as well for other people to use. Yes. There's an official Evo thread, mm-hmm. and he's posting in these two other ones. Yes. And it's like, why don't you post in the official Evo thread? That's what it's for. Posting about Evo. Mm-hmm. Post there. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> well, let's get to that thread that got him banned, okay? So let's uh-huh. get to that thread a little bit before we get to that the end mm-hmm. of the story, as Phil liked to call it. So 
for obviously when something is the, it was the champion's it. vision. <laughs> oh, you never saw that? <laughs> yeah. It's, this is champion's vision. John yeah. Cena, fucking hell. All right. Let me move. Let me move oh, the vision. Well done. Hold on. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. What I, I'm going to have to. Okay. Anyways, we'll do it later. Studio mode. Yes, I'm going to fuck anything up. Okay. So here we go. This is. The first, um, where is it? Someone's asking. Okay, here we go. So you can see up here. Damn, what have the DSP's updates? This is from X, E-K-S. And leading to that, there's nothing, right? I can't find any posts mm -hmm. from DSP. So obviously when they're deleted, they're just fucking gone. So they are gone. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will get a few thing. Here is what Phil mentioned. Whoever deleted my thread is a faggot. I'm just reading the oh, words. Oh, that's I'm... not quite the word he used in his summary, though, is it? He, but I believe he used he a different said, word there, didn't he? I, yeah, I th he said my threads is gay. So gay. It, it, we went from the real truth is, is a faggot. There mm -hmm. were some true facts in there that were confirmed. So now I have to repost in this thread. Okay. So reminder, reminder. I, I, I'm just saying, oh, by the way, sorry for saying the word. I'm just reading it. I do not think you should ever use mm -hmm. that word. Yeah, I'm reading yeah. words. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, always. But, yeah, yeah. Always. Just reading. Yes. Just reading. Uh, mm -hmm. But so th this is what led to Phil having to repost here. So now I have to repost in this thread. So a reminder, though, why he's saying is here is there were some facts in here that were confirmed. There were some true facts in there that were confirmed. That means, mm -hmm. like Phil said, he also posted a lot of other shit that was not confirmed. So yeah. I if you're posting random shit about uh, an event that is not true and might look bad, if you're in control of the thread, because it is the thread that the Cannon Brothers started themselves, you might also want to delete that. And if you keep doing that, you better damn right you're going to get a fucking ban because you're just saying shit, right? Just saying mm -hmm. shit that's not true. So, you know, it makes sense, right? It makes sense why he was banned. But let's keep going. Yeah. I don't want to... You can make a decision for yourself, everybody. So here's Phil's response. Evo news, rumors, and events, day one. Sanford Kelly cannot make it to Evo. He was arrested for jumping a turnstile in NYC subway instead of paying. He was released from jail late Thursday night. He missed his flight and now has an, no ID or money to get on a later one. And all the Empire mer members are Aureus already... Sorry, yeah, Jin, Jin, me already. Jin tweet. Yeah. already in Cali. The U.S. got horribly owned by the Japanese players in Guilty Gear. Apparently, the best player from the U.S. got perfected by Daigo in the Guilty Gear tournament. Uh, WC stored 22 wins while the East, West Coast stored 22 wins. Stored 22 wins. Stored. While the yeah. East Coast only scored three. Ouch. In third strike, KO from Japan was nearly unbeatable. Okay, Onuki's got 27 wins and was still racking them up. More info as it comes. Mm -hmm. Some people start asking, hey, well, uh, what, where'd you hear the Stanford thing from? And Phil happily says, that would be from Sanford and, T and Triforce's wife. I was trying to contact Triforce to find a way to get Sanford to Cali, but that's not going to happen. Blah. It's just really bad luck. Uh, news from Sanford confirmed by... I, like, I love this. News from Sanford confirmed by Triforce for those who don't trust Phil. <laughs> 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 I know you guys are out there, so we got some yeah, other yeah. sources. Unless Sanford miraculously gets a lot of money, there's no way he's going to make it. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's keep going on to here. Uh, if you don't trust me, <laughs> Phil clearly... <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly triggered by that last comment says, if you don't trust me in my updates and or you deleted my threads, you are gay. So there's the gay. There's we did the, get the F, F word mm -hmm. first, then gay. That is yep. all. More news to come. Uh, Ponder, the Cannon Brothers, says, I find that extremely unlikely. And you know why I said <laughs> that? It's because he got banned right now. Yeah. I'm sure of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Ponder is one of the Cannon Brothers. I'm not exactly sure. Inkblot is the other. So if you ever see Inkblot mm -hmm. and Ponder, those are their two names. Uh, Triforce, Triforce uh, c comes in here real quick to give the news. Uh, here is news from the horse's mouth. Anthrax, like a dick, got himself arrested somehow, some fucking way. I don't even know the true details. Whether he jumped the turnstile, was caught selling fucking crack. The point <laughs> is, this idiot <laughs> found himself in jail the day he's supposed to meet my wife at the fucking fort to get on the plane in which his ticket is paid for, then to the fucking hotel, which I have him for him waiting. He fucked up, basically. He fucked yeah, up. yeah. Uh, uh, Elk X comes in, who is clearly a DSP fan. I have, I have found one person that seems to stick up for DSP, and his name is X. He says, damn, mm -hmm. why DSP get banned? He was actually posting legit info and pretty much the only one to be doing it. So we have a DSP fanboy here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go down to 34. This is Punisher, a.k.a. DSP. <laughs> 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 this 
This is Punisher, aka DSP. Oh uh, so clearly, uh, uh, yeah, X could be DSP. Great, great fucking point. Uh, I should look into X comments because it might be DSP. Uh, this is Punisher, aka DSP. As many of you know, I've been banned from SRK for posting updates, despite the fact that I broke the stories of Sanford not coming from from uh, Guilty Gear at, and Guilty Gear results and calling whoever deleted my threads a gay. Anyway, uh -huh. as you can see, I can get on whenever I want to. <laughs> but I don't see the point of signing on against the will of the people that own the website. Okay. <laughs> it's odd. I can get on whenever I want, but they banned me, so I won't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, therefore, if you want the latest updates, I suggest I suggest you ditch SRK and go to Capcom on Fnet of MIRC, or you can go to TopHaters.com while I'll be updating along with Capcom, the newest info available as it happens. Okay, so DSP is banned now, and he's uh, this is the start of the Punisher name we've mm -hmm. seen in previous Density Scrolls. This is where that's. I think we should be like like obstinate pricks and call it the Punish Three O. <laughs> yeah, the Punisher yeah. era. <laughs> uh, so X X uh, could, could again. Now I'm thinking about that that Theo theory is X DSP. Let's look at a little bit more of a, a discerning mm -hmm. eye there. Mm -hmm. A fake info deleted. IRC source was a F word again. We know Phil likes to yep, use that yep. word, so that checks yep. out. Uh, Shady K qualifies. Uh, this is a smiley face. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Shady K, then, uh, we have history with Shady K. We Shady do, K yeah. is the is the is the lucky gentleman that was with Taco Chan when Phil went full court press on Taco Chan. So there's some lore for mm -hmm. you. Though I do believe this was years before that happened. So uh, this smiley face might come from DSP, even though after the Taco Chan incident, I'm sure it might not have came. Maybe there's still that time. Uh, but there we go. That is there. Um, and let's go to the next one. Bacardi here. Uh, what the fuck? Stop covering. He coming here. Go to <laughs> Top Haters for all your evolution updates. <laughs> no reason wasting your time coming here when all you want is info. Uh, so this one, I've seen Bacardi. We've seen it before. I don't think that's a, at the sock. Mm -hmm. Again, it could be. X, I do want to look a little bit closer at, though. X says, Shady K qualified in both Marvel Capcom 2 and CVS 2. Flo mm -hmm. also qualified as Shady's Marvel Bracket, and I think Geo in CVS 2. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe is that X post is that Phil posting information from uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> from Phil there? Anyway, let's keep going on here. Why would you though? Why wouldn't you? You'd want surely people to come over to top haters now. So you think? Yeah, you surely think. even X would be like, oh, if you want to know how people did, go to top haters. Uh, <laughs> I, I really think this one is DSP, but I can't confirm it. This is what I cannot confirm. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you know. It says, all right, mm -hmm. cool. My source is from IRC and, and tophaters.com. What about forward slash studio? main? <laughs> what about super, super Turbo Top 8? Mm -hmm. I can't tell. I can't tell. Uh, but there we go. Uh, I couldn't tell if that's him, so I don't want to get did drink, but He did drink rum. Yeah. He said he drank rum, so for yep. he could be. But mm -hmm. oddly, that's pretty much it in terms of interesting stuff from DSP in this thread. He really did go to Top Haters and, and lop all the news there. So we're going to mm -hmm. jump back to Top Haters and read the rest of this. Uh, he said the story didn't end there, and we're going to see why it didn't end there. Uh, oh, it I takes a very interesting turn. Interesting <laughs> turn. So let's see that interesting turn. So Mr. Wizard, a.k.a. Joey Kuehler, a mod on SRK and a major organizer for the EVO tournaments, complimented me on Top Haters as a source of info during EVO. He went on to say that he and the cannons, I love this color use here, uh -huh, he yeah. and the cannons use Top Haters as a source of info themselves during Evolution because they could not be everywhere at once. Uh-huh. Joey told like, me. Like, surely, <laughs> surely they would have their own sort of, like, method of communication during a tournament. Yeah. I, <laughs> like, you know, because like, you know, they're, like, organizing it. <laughs> so Joey told me they were not even informed about the Tyro Lee ODing and leaving in an ambulance and Shady K getting drunk incidences, uh, and they read it on Top Hater. So Pyro Lee... Uh, did go leave Evo in a in a uh, ambulance, oddly enough, and mm -hmm. F Phil, I guess, had news about that. I don't know, but there you go. Uh, let's go, uh, Miss. Uh, can you fucking believe that the cannons banned me from SRK <laughs> for posting live Evo updates? Yet they come to top haters <laughs> themselves and read the updates anyway. Uh -huh. People have said I could be a hypocritical, but give me a fucking break here. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> hypocritical thing I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> ban somebody from your website for doing something and then go ahead and follow along with them doing it anyway and then compliment them on it afterwards oh my god <laughs> actually it makes sense because 
<laughs> you're, you're posting shit on their official thread for their official tournament that they are putting mm-hmm. on, and you clearly are mm-hmm. sharing fake information. They might want you to stop that, but they might check on your site to see if you're sharing anything that they might want to know about, but they can't have it on the official thread. So it makes sense to me. But anyways, let's continue. G, maybe I should IP ban the cannons from top haters to get back at them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Don't cut them that deep. <laughs> maybe I should have done that during Evo to make sure their sorry asses couldn't read the updates? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 the kind of brothers, this one's for you. Are you ready? Let's restart the intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, I'm not a total asshole, and I'm not spiteful. Oh. Yet. Yeah. Okay, Yet. right. I may uh-huh. be a jokester, and I may do very controversial things, like the Devo trailer. All right, the uh, Devo trailer. Okay. Uh, it's not. It is not online. It is a fake trailer for a fake tournament Phil put on. Uh, we mm-hmm. can't see about it. He does talk about it on top haters, uh, saying it was a fake trailer. Some people thought it was real, and he said everyone got baited. But unfortunately, it's gone. So I'm. Uh, but this is something. I, some some record label took yes. it down for some reason that he never really <laughs> looked into. But I don't do the <laughs> ultimate insult and ban people from places just because I have the power to or just because I don't like them. So that's the ultimate insult in terms of Phil is banning is the ultimate insult. Um, mm-hmm. It's okay to voice your opinion and give them the old fuck you, moron. I don't like you or anything you're doing. When you start purposely excluding certain people from a major community, that's when the community starts to become elitist. Dude, you got banned. <laughs> you called the people we were moderating the website as a slur. Yes. <laughs> Let's not forget about that too. That's that that goes even in addition to saying the fucked up shit. He as uh, you know, he, he used the slur. So yes, that could be a re- another reason he was banned. I did nothing wrong on SRK. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> I did everything correct. <laughs> I did everything correct. Apart from posting incorrect information that was rumors. <laughs> yes. Uh, no harm was done to anyone because I was posting live Evo updates. The most untrue were rumors were corrected and everything was cleared up. <laughs> okay. But. The yeah, case- afterwards. <laughs> yeah, afterwards. After, that's yeah. the problem. On the official thread, they might not want fake shit to be there. So, okay. But the cannons, unfortunately, don't see it that way. Uh, and have chosen to sweep me under the carpet rather than deal with the- <laughs> <laughs> Get that ass swept. <laughs> you sweep under a rug. You sweep under a rug, not a carpet. That's Connecticut English. The Connecticut vernacular. Oh my god. Get that ass swept. I like that. G T A S. Get that ass swept. All right, right it's like when he says I'm playing this cold turkey. Like it's like how do you not know what, how metaphors work? <laughs> Or a master mod sweep his rug. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. Oh god. All right. Um. But, 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 let's get back to the, where we are. Out of sight, out of mind. Right? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you may not like my eccentric ways, but you have to face the facts. And I'm a part of the Street Fighter community, and I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I like this yellow. Oh, uh, that aged well. Uh-huh. He's not going anywhere, guys. He's a member of the Street mm-hmm. Fighter community. I've helped out at ECC for the past two years, and everyone at the break knows and respects me. <laughs> respects <laughs> me. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I still organize and run tournaments in the state of Connecticut. I personally bought arcade parts such as flat Japanese-style buttons for our MVCS2 cabs when the arcade wouldn't. Oh, now we're, we're we're explaining why you should love me. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've these done are good all the things, things I've you, done. So. I've, oh, I, this is oh god! Can you imagine? I upgraded one cab in one arcade in Connecticut. Praise me. Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's can- a narcissist thing. It's like, hey, look, I've done good things for you, so you owe me. You know, like, you should dude. be treating me better. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know the colors indicate the the, the amount of salt he's feeling as he writes. <laughs> <laughs> salt meter <laughs> yellow is so we're peaking at red <laughs> red is yeah red is salt overflowing right yellow <laughs> is we're at 75 percent salt level we're, we're, we're like a salt crusted ham and then white is we're just a little bit too much salt on your fries red is just like you are just eating salt <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so uh you might not like my extension quiz okay whatever we got past that uh here we go 
even though I talk shit a lot, it's just for fun most of the time. <laughs> and 90% of the people that meet me in person are cool with me, including yeah. people on the West Coast that thought I was a total asshole until they met me at SHGL or Evo 2K2. <laughs> well, this is before the Jaha incident. This is years before that. But if Phil uh, thinks the West Coast, okay. West Coast people right. all are cool with them at this point, I would yeah, say, yeah. you know. Yeah. More importantly, I'm involved in the planning for Impact. That is Phil's own tournament. Oh, <laughs> that God, That is Phil's yeah, that. own tournament. That would not happen. <laughs> uh, but he's involved in the plan for Impact. I'm going to play a major role in, in its organization and ultimate realization. This is a tournament he created himself. I'm going to play a major role in its organization ultimate realization. <laughs> That's a tournament he created himself. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up doing all of the music and video for the tournament with a little help from others. <laughs> Dude, at least like boast correctly, you know? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways, so if you thought I was going away anytime soon, you're wrong. How does one do all of the music and video with a little help from others? With a little help. Like, so these help a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's Thanks. not enough to be considered like, yeah, yeah, it's also a little bit. doing it. So, yeah, <laughs> if you're going to put yourself out to be some badass, at least, like, don't say that part. I mean, it's kind of, like, mm -hmm. it's just odd, right? Like, if you're trying to say, like, how cool and awesome stuff you're doing, like, wouldn't a, a normal person leave the little help with others part out? Like, it's weird. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. It's... or It's just weird. Like, if you're flexing, at least flex. Flex. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like me saying I, I'd be doing a lot of great stuff on um, on WPIG with the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. With a little yeah. help from ALT. Yeah. Like you're, if you're <laughs> it's like a, it's actually you doing it. <laughs> if you make a resume, you wouldn't say that part like, you know, you'd say like, I've been a part of a very successful show called the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. say like yeah. ALT does, figures out the cool topics. A for little me. bit. You don't, you don't say that, right? <laughs> He does a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He helps out here yeah, and there. You know? It's mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so let, we're not done, though. And by the way, this is the this is the very, what does it say? A very interesting turn. We're still on the very interesting yeah, turn yeah, yeah. aspect. Yep. I could honestly care less that I'm banned from SRK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make it. <laughs> this is like, what, the fourth paragraph? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do that to us. Come on. <laughs> That's like designed to make us laugh. Come on. X to gout. Yes, X to gout. <laughs> EKS to gout. Well done. Well done. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Okay. So he doesn't okay, see, care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Catching up with where we are. We don't give a shit, all right? Uh, it's just a hindrance that if I want to find out any real information on tournaments and other events, I have to hide my IP or go on someone else's computer. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Salt going out. Salt, salt increasing here. What I find a big deal is that the cannons think that they're doing the right thing by banning me when I did nothing wrong. When you have people like that running the biggest fighting game tournaments in U.S. history, people who don't discuss or listen but just throw their power around, that's <laughs> when you start to have problems. Okay, so remember we uh -huh. Phil, yeah remember Phil flexed on having like uh, mm -hmm. uh, attempting to plan a tournament called Impact, and he's going to play a major role with some help from other mm -hmm. people. The Cannon Brothers are already. Uh, you know, planning Eva, which is still is the biggest fighting game tournament in the I don't know, I can't say world, I don't know, I think it is, but I don't know, at least the US but for sure. It's yeah, it's <laughs> you know. it's the world. Let's it's yeah. yeah. So Phil yeah. is trying to say how he is in, in some capacity comparable to these gentlemen, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I know he's not now. I we I mean that's just fact, but even in two thousand three, these guys were already pushing it, man. Making yeah. a tournament that everyone fucking cares about and everyone dreams about finishing it in 2003, we're already there. But here we go. Phil is saying that I'm planning just, impact, so please think I'm cool too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it is an incredible thing to be done at that time when you consider what games and fighting games especially, and arcades in America especially, yeah. were like at the time. 
But I do just want to sort of like briefly linger on that sentence. People who don't discuss or listen would just throw their power around. That's when you start to have problems. <laughs> it's aged beautifully to me. That. Yeah. It's aged beautifully. It's aged better than a bottle of Jack Daniels that powers the Snitchinator. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Shout out. Snitchinator card pulled right when you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I said. Yeah, but uh, when you have people like that, blah, 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 okay. Uh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for the cannons for doing what they do when they organize evolution every year. It's a lot of work, time, and money they don't have to put into games. And I think we all appreciate that. Okay? You appreciate mm -hmm. that, guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but when you see things like Jason Cole being let into the tournament after his entire pool is finished playing, totally ignoring the no exceptions rule simply because he's a past Super Turbo champion, wh while meanwhile... <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't think you can say that, can you? While meanwhile, uh, while no, meanwhile, no, you just say meanwhile. <laughs> yeah, but while meanwhile, others are eliminated from tournaments because they were playing in one game while they were called to play another. When people can that, start, yeah, go ahead. That, that sounds familiar. <laughs> that yeah. sounds familiar to me, though, and I don't know why. <laughs> when people can start getting banned from Shogun.com, the primary source discussion. <laughs> Reading information and interaction in the Street Fighter community because they were posting, uh oh, level red. Uh oh, uh -oh. updates on the tournament the cannons were r running and were giving no information on themselves. Yellow, what is next? When power yeah. is thrown around in that unfair manner and certain people are given favor while others are shitted upon. <laughs> 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 shitted upon. <laughs> It upon. Uh, without good reason, you have to realize you will forever have a biased, one-sided view of the Street Fighter community because those with power simply will make exceptions for those they like and take, oh, italics, take exception mm. to shut up those they dislike. Is that the kind of community you want? On and DSP Space <laughs> Gaming? <laughs> So this, I love that. He's so mad that they weren't posting like constant updates in the thread that they put up while they were fucking running Evo. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and so he gets banned because he not only keeps spamming these two other threads with incorrect information that's forced them to be deleted, yep. but he also called one of the people that owns Evo, that runs Evo and owns the website a slur an offensive slur <laughs> and then gets banned for it and then gets pissy and goes and does that and goes this is bad for the street fighter community guys and don't forget he says he doesn't care though so that's the key point he doesn't mm -hmm. care either so this is yeah, yeah, all yeah, that paragraph he doesn't care so guys don't care. It's no big deal. i don't care uh so that Five is paragraphs. actually in my opinion, that is the first uh, beef that we can have a, a full record of, like a full beef. Uh, but there's more. Uh, let's go to, I know a lot of people, I saw, uh, you might have in your mind the reason. I, I sent you me. some sound files, didn't I? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it ready. I got it ready. Okay, cool, cool. Are right, you ready, guys? The first one. And look how it starts. I'm going to be succinct. You ready? <laughs> Tell me how. <laughs> this is the Lord of the Rings, dude. This is the, this, this is the, the Lord. <laughs> this is the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> to the point. Oh my god. Okay, well let's get to the distinct. Oh my god. I can't read all this. I probably will. I always say I won't, but then I do. Uh, but I'm going to be succinct and to the point and end all of this discussion about console versus arcade cab. SRK versus the players. Good versus evil. Blah, blah, blah. This post will solve the entire issue and still manage to be long. Well, at least he's telling us it's going to be long. Succinctly long, I guess. <laughs> Successfully succinct. <laughs> Successfully succinct. <laughs> okay. So now we get to his uh, thesis uh, His thesis of the real issue. What is Evo? Okay. Uh, that's a successful master's thesis here. 
If yeah, Evo yeah. is indeed a convention-like event, <laughs> when the majority of players are coming out to have a lot of casual games, meet other players to hang out, then console is the obvious correct choice. It saves time, money, and provides the opportunity for lots of casual play. Filling in those awkward spaces of having nothing to do between tournament matches. This one is this is very telling to me. The use of awkward spaces of having nothing to do between tournament matches. Because mm -hmm. I am not a tournament game player, but I can tell you I've been to a lot of conventions, and there's not always stuff to do. But you know when you go with your friends, you kind of never feel like there's awkward spaces of having nothing to do because you can just talk and do nothing? You know what I mean? <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a period of, like, I can imagine, uh, you know, going to a, a tournament, and, you know, you're playing, and you take a part, and you do your thing, you play your matches, and yeah. then got some time to kill. I would imagine you'd go and socialize? That's what I was. You thinking. go like, like go for something to eat or a drink. Go like, see where people are hanging out. Maybe go watch a couple of other matches or something. Yeah, like see what's going on some other games. It's just odd I, to me that word. But anyone chat that has been to straight fighting game tournaments, let us know because I, I think that sounds like he has awkward space of time that I don't think I would personally. I would be like, hey, what's up, man? Let's go do something. Let's talk. Let's. This is him. Yeah. This is absolutely him not wanting to socialize. You, you can already see him, like, standing at the back, leaning against the wall with his arms folded. Yeah. Going, mm, this is shit. Uh, but uh, since the numbers Jungle. attending EVO have grown and the crowd going to EVO is ever-changing, it appears that this may be the correct assumption. But if EVO is indeed the biggest, best, most serious Street Fighter tournament in the United States, and in the case of Marvel's Capcom 2, the entire world, then arcade cabinets are the correct choice. Um. <laughs> uh, just you know, right. this is 2004. You know, but the top players uh -huh. of of all Street Fighter games are accustomed to this venue, this style of control, as well as these versions of the games. Having an all arcade tournament caters to those top players. The players that pretty much created the Street Fighter community, popularized it, and turned it into what it is today. The players that were around before the era of multiple thousand dollar first prizes and thousands of attendees. Um, yeah, but like, what do you do for the people that play with pads? Yeah. I as we know, history would, would prove Phil to be incorrect, but we're going to keep mm -hmm. reading his arguments. This is, by the way, Decay, you wondering, we are not fourth place at EVO yet. Uh, I do want to ask you, mm -hmm. Justin Wong's in the studio as well, as he is every Saturday night. Is he? Justin, oh, great, yeah. yeah. Cool. What, what, what does fourth place get? Fourth place doesn't get anything, I'm sorry. Okay, thanks for that. I just, I that. <laughs> Cheers, Justin. Yeah, but yeah, he does not even, Phil has not even got fourth place yet, so here we go. He has not gotten fourth place, um, so let's keep going. So that's the issue. What is EVO? Has it grown into a convention where thousands of fighting gamers can together can get together and have fun and a lot of and a lot of casual play, or is Evo the biggest, best, most serious and meaningful tournament ever? Meaningful, big ups, meaningful. But, yeah, me big ups, meaningful. But what what can't what can't they be both? I do not like know. like it's you know you get together, you have fun, have a casual, you know, it's a lot of casuals, and also it's one of the biggest, best tournaments around. <laughs> You know, <laughs> seems good to me, but yeah. the problem is thus, or he says this, but the problem is this. Everyone seems to think to call Evo that, one thing. That's, that's like actually <laughs> the one point where you could like legitimately correctly use the word thus. Yeah, and he doesn't. And he doesn't, <laughs> yeah. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> he could say it correctly, but he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone seems to think that to call Evo one thing, you have to sacrifice the other. It can't be a convention in a serious tournament all at the same time. This is the general consensus, it seems. Oh shit! We got the Hogan! We oh, got the oh. Hogan! Holy fuck! What is this? Come on, let's go have sex now. It's been too long. Oh my god. Holy Yes, shit. we got it! One! I will tell you the odds when we click back. Who pulled it? We can't be able to check that. Who got it? Was it Toxic mm. Jerry Juice? Was it you, brother? I believe it was. Oh yeah, Panda Vision, I think, is blocked the, yeah the, 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 name the odds top. are off in the visions we'll come back that was yeah, one yeah. in over a thousand yeah. oh sf white go missing by one oh, all right we'll check on that after Let, let's see if i can play that oh okay, shit <laughs> wow hold on waste. hold on everybody we got to play the hogan animation again what are you nuts we work hard on that where's the hogan pull here we go. How do we get another Hogan pull? The odds keep getting longer, but they still keep coming. Here is the Hogan. Oh, God. 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 O
<laughs> Almost three quarters of the way there, right. but we didn't make Here it. Here we go. So these guys are just going to have to wait till next make week. Make sure there's not a pull off of this. I want to play. See what happens. Here we go. <laughs> Our fishing hat. We're going fishing hat. Here we go. This is the Hogan pull. Enjoy. <laughs> yes. No, no more pulls. Black, black dude. God damn it. Need something good. Oh, shit. All right. We're doing it later. Fair enough, fair enough. Toxic Chair Juice, you're a legend. Fuck you deserve it. that. We're doing it live. Toxic Chair Juice is a, is a legend in the community. Always giving out the coins. You're a legend. Uh, Weren't they the first in America during the Gintro? Or was <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Are we <laughs> yeah. The odds are 1 in 2,175. <laughs> I'm ruining J.O.I. You <laughs> you're a legend. legend I love you, Dabby. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. Let's move on. We had an epic, an epic fucking pull. Let's continue with his epic fucking thread. So everyone, consider, uh, this is the general consensus. It seems. Why is this? The candidates have told us that no matter what, Evo will be a console this year because mm-hmm. it's for the best interest of Evo and the players attending. The cannons are right. Making Evo console will help it grow and give the majority of players something to do instead of standing around during tournament matches. Yeah. But let's say that Justin Wong, undisputed Marvel's Capcom 2 champion, loses at Evo this year for the first time in four years. I'm sure you would yeah. love that, wouldn't you? Uh, well, because Evo is console, you have just negated the accomplishment, ac- ac- accomplishment of whoever beat Justin and the significance of the loss. Because Justin has always been accustomed to playing and winning on arcade cabinets on that specific style of control and that specific version of the game. Well, you, you mean a joystick. Enter- yeah, that's what he's saying. But like, you can't plug one of them into a PlayStation 2. Mm, well, you can attempt to emulate it by sticking Velcro to his joystick. You can try to slow down the speed of the game by giving him downers and getting him drunk. What? What? Oh my God. Why would you need to... Dr- that was a, it's, there's okay. not that much of a difference between the arcade version <clears throat> and the console <laughs> version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Great, great joke. Giving him downers and getting him drunk. But the fact that matters, no matter what you do, Justin did not just lose his Marvel's Capcom 2 crown. All he lost was a tournament in a slightly different game from the one he rules in. Okay. So oh, I get that. this. Yeah, I get this. Is, this is yeah, super okay. turbo. This is super turbo. I lost at super turbo in future, you know, because yeah. it wasn't the version I played. So remember, so so this is interesting. This is remember, this is before Phil wins on that PS version mm-hmm. of, of of Super Turbo. So this is before yeah. all that. But it's that sort of thing. It's that yeah. sort of thing. It, yep. It's that like, well, you know, you might have beat me on this, but it's the home console version, and I'm used to playing the arcade version. So really, you didn't beat me. Yeah. You know, you only won on this game. You know, you didn't beat me where I rule in the arcade. So I'm yeah. going to fast forward a little bit, unfortunately. Let's get mm-hmm. to his solution, okay? So we have the issue. He's, he's given his thesis on the, the, the issue <laughs> and the problem. What's the solution? It's pretty simple, It's a actually. convention. The cannons have rented out two rooms at Kyle Poly this year. Twice the space. Great idea. One room should be totally for casual play. Unless you're playing in tournament, on deck to play, or have a vested interest in what's going on during a match, your teammate is playing, etc. Then you'll be in the casual room. This room is strictly bring your own console and or stick to play casual play games, chill out, hang out, have fun, and act stupid. Kill time between your turning matches. Eat a big messy grinder over somebody's head and spill saunts on their back. Whatever. <laughs> I don't, what the fuck is this? But okay, fine. I mean, guess trying to be funny. Uh-huh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, have a vid feed into this room from the turning room. So if anyone anywhere before the top 16 or eight players, there's a t- great match like Justin versus Sue everybody can see the match this way there is no rush for the tourney room when a top match takes place then there is a tourney only room uh, the games are on arcade cast for the games that need be but i'm alive a game like tekken is more commonly accepted on ps2 than arcade then that version is used if not arcade is used nobody can complain that matches be nothing nobody can complain that it's a different version of the game than that they've accustomed to everybody is playing the most popular well-accepted versions of their respective games all serious tournament players are happy but, I mean, th- <clears throat> this is happening because the Cannon Brothers could see that more and more people were playing at home. So more and more people are playing on home console versions. Yep. They're not playing on the arcades. Mm-hmm. So they're making that move towards console. But Phil doesn't want his, like, nostalgic... You know, no, my life is good at the moment. I've got few, you know, responsibilities and I'm hanging out and I'm playing the arcades all day. And, you know, he wants that sort of like nostalgic thing to stay. Mm-hmm. He wants like 
arcades to stay because that's what fighting games mean to him they're intrinsically like linked with arcades but the kind of brothers are like seeing and growing their their tournament their brand their their growing evolution by seeing that you know more and more people are going to be playing on console which is true they are now yeah, and, and so they could see the way it was going they could see the way you know the winds were changing and they wanted to move with it but <laughs> feels like but the arcades yeah my, my, arc, you know. my arcades and it's just like yeah, yeah. It, his, his 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 solution is you have two fucking huge rooms which i'm sure they did because they needed more rooms for tournaments Fuck one of those rooms. Just use it for casual. I mean, I don't yeah, think yeah, that yeah. sounds like a great idea. But all right, well, I mean, I don't know anything about these tournaments, though, to be fair. But still, like, it seems like they got two rooms probably because they wanted two rooms for all the tournament shit. And yeah, because they're having more room. games. There's not just one game on anymore. There's, like, yeah. multiple tournaments going on. Yeah, you know? So, but, yeah. All right. But, and coincidentally, all casual players are happy. The one foreseeable problem with this perfect solution, money and avail availability of cabinets. So Phil is trying to get the solutions out of the way, too. But mm -hmm. guess what? The SRK staff have dug their own graves with this one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. There was nobody to blame but themselves. Ooh, Cannon Ooh. Brothers, get ready. In all the efforts to evolve the Street Fighter community evolve. to make it large, By the way, <laughs> just keep in mind how everything the Cannon Brothers did has succeeded in these goals. Yeah. You know, you, you know, has, they have succeeded in that goal, right? Because mm -hmm. Evo's still fucking going today. So let's hear yeah. about all the bad, all, yeah. all the things that uh, the Cannon Brothers did incorrectly, right? Uh, in mm -hmm. all the efforts to evolve the Street Fighter community to make it larger, more widespread, more accepted, Evo has become huge. There are so many players yeah. that qualifying rounds take too long, and there's nothing to do between matches. If you don't have any friends, yes. Uh, yes. In the <laughs> old days of a few hundred players, this was not a problem. With the possibility of a thousand players attending Evo, this is a definite problem that will occur. Oh no, is... all those people you can talk to <laughs> during the period where you're not playing a match. <laughs> like, <laughs> but this is the problem that comes with growth. Okay, so they have dug their own graves because lots of people want to come. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a negative. Uh, you, you're too popular. It's, yeah. It sounds like you know when you find a band before everyone loves mm -hmm. them and then they love them. You're like, how dare you? But yeah, really, yeah, like yeah. they just they just got more popular. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's not the funnest. Sometimes it sucks, but you know. Uh, do PC game tournaments have one large scale event with all qualifiers, finals, and casual play all held at the same time? Hell no. They understand the money, time, availability constraints that come into play with tournaments. But the organizers of EVO have not had the foresight to predict the problems that were inevitable when a tournament grows to the extent that EVO has. <laughs> <laughs> and now how, EVO... How, yeah, how would they... Right. I mean, like, there was no tournament like EVO before EVO. There was no, nothing's come as big. You know? So, yeah, yeah, like, how, how, how are they supposed to have the foresight to predict very... what it's like when it's big? <laughs> Very weird. Trying to find something to complain about, and this time he's complaining about they were too successful and they didn't get ready for this. Uh, and now Evo is put in the situation where either one side or the other gets screwed. Either the majority of casual, normal players get screwed by being bored all weekend with nothing to do. I guarantee they're not bored with nothing to do because they have friends. Or the top players get screwed by being forced to make com compromises on controls and versions of games they're not accustomed to. Big ups, Maximilian dude, on the pool. And the character... <laughs> That is that will be. I didn't see it yet, but it's got like kind of based on Maximilian Dude, the new Street Fighter. It's got to be. Be it's one hundred percent based on. If it's not officially him, it is absolutely like inspired by okay, because cool, it's cool, cool. just the spit. All it's missing is the glasses. Everything else is like. Oh, spot on. it's a skin. Okay, cool, cool. But that's awesome. Yeah, it's I a love skin. It. Yeah, yeah. It's I not a character. It. It's a skin. But, I love it. You know. I hope you will play it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Feel us to fight a million of them. I yeah, hope. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope a lot of people wear it. <laughs> it's uh, like what was that uh, there was another one wasn't there he, he was in another game recently oh, yeah, there's like right. an, an MMO action yeah. RPG thing and, and he's he was briefly in that with Benny yeah, so, play, yeah if yeah. you play against DSP with that skin just do pattern can please pattern yeah. play <laughs> Don't try anything else. Just do pattern play. I don't care how good you are. <laughs> Naraka. Thank you. Thank you, scientist. Yeah, there we go. Um, so here we go. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is a great analogy coming up. Uh, if you were a pro baseball player and suddenly, 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 shout out to the density scrolls here with this, suddenly, you have to play with the wiffle ball bat and the rules of the game were slightly changed so much so that you weren't even sure that the difference was until you tagged out and the game was over. How would you feel? Okay, so let's read this um, again. Slightly, okay, so the rules. Of I the feel like I've heard this before. Hasn't he said this before? Yeah, yeah. He has said this, this, this. Or the flip side, if you were a baseball player and you're only allowed to play one baseball game every six months, how would you feel then? 
Both situations suck. Oh, he's comparing waiting in between matches to playing baseball game every six months. <laughs> I don't think I've read that part before, at the very least. <laughs> uh, but anyways, but the very least, that's um, the only thing is common players can do is voice to SRK staff that doing either of these choices is unacceptable. It is absolutely unfair to demand either a totally console or totally arcade cabinet tournament because Evo has grown too large for either of these alternatives. So they're saying we can't do you have to do both. OK, yeah. Um, is there anything else? This may be next to nothing long wrong. Oh, I propose that everyone reads this donates one dollar to SRK. <laughs> <laughs> a dollar a day. It's a dollar one a day. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I never have to worry about money again. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you, Weston. Like, so he's saying, like, a, yeah. Phil is comparing. He really did do that. He complained that waiting in between matches is like a baseball player waiting six months in between games. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta get that out there. Big ups, party yeah, Chihuahuas. Yeah. Nice pull. There. Don't base. Don't baseball players like wait anyway? Isn't that like part of the game? Yeah, they like, wait like their you, time you up. run yeah. to it. You run to a bit. You run to like one of the bases, and then you wait until like the next block hits, and then you all run again. Yep. Or... Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing left to be okay. Anyway, so he's saying that everyone donated a dollar. Um, uh, it's and show they're yeah. willing to help out to make Eva the best tournament ever. And I think that everyone here, even the poorest of the poor students, can afford one dollar. Okay, so even you <laughs> poor students, dollar bitch. There's nothing left <laughs> to be said. Oh, thank God. There's nothing left to be said. To leave Evo as it is means to screw over a group of players, and that is unacceptable. So let's all show that we're willing to help us okay out with this slump of a problem by showing our support. After all, we're all gamers here, and we want to see all we want to see is Street Fighter be as successful as possible and have the best goddamn event that ever ha has ever been. Let's fucking stop talking and do it. Okay, we're done. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got through it. All right. Jesus. So. Let's see how the Cannon Brothers and the community as at, as a as a whole responds to this. All right. So I feel Ron like I've actually lost part of my frontal lobes. <laughs> Jaha, big ups. <laughs> All right. I like this idea a lot. This feels hey, like big a lot ups, of sense. Man. Good to see it. <laughs> and I hope this is serious to take into account. Late. So he's getting support from Rob Unner. Uh -huh. Burns says this solution sounds perfect. That if everyone does band together to donate that one dollar or more each, then it might actually help at least a little bit. So there we go. Might help a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I agree with this dia idea. Even though it's a little impossible, I would work if everyone. It would work if everyone banded together. But I mean, we're talking about SRK people here. I mean, these dudes are lazy enough not to take showers. Do you really think they're really hard? <laughs> <laughs> replying note, to Phil? <laughs> yeah, on a related note, I'll donate some cash, two bucks, one for me and one for Sue Mighty, because I really want him to come and take it this year. Heck, man, I don't think you borrowed my DC. And, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. APOC says, yo, that's an idea. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that nothing at all is or is ever going to be changed. I have no proof, but I'm getting that vibe. Some kind of compromise will be something. So he is getting support. I want to make sure we see that. He's getting mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Uh, and uh, Well, this obviously, is... this is before this is how you don't play. So yeah, the fighting yes. game community Everyone is not them. turned against it's him just, yet. <laughs> I, have to point out, I have to point out when he gets support because it's just so rare. It's so yeah. rare. So I want to yeah, make sure yeah. you see it. Uh, but don't worry, guys. Uh, we have a lot of responses to check through. Uh, someone else says, sounds like a good idea. I'll drop 50. Oh, Thanks, yeah, man. I see. That sounds like a good idea. I'll, I'll, I have donated 10 before to people to help out their game sets. I'll definitely do Thanks, that. Thanks, Game Tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. So we get a lot of... Uh, lot would, of uh, would it help if I became a premium member? Well, yeah, plus you get to see your videos watched first. <laughs> <laughs> So some people like uh, have already agreed like arcades you yeah, shall yeah, forever yeah. be missed blah blah blah, uh, and here we go. This is uh, uh not sure if DSP but I'm pretty someone sure pointing out that Justin has one on consoles. Yeah, yeah, like someone else so, before the main yeah. event tournament. The reason that makes Evo the biggest of them all should be held on cabinets. Hold those team tournaments, grudge matches on console. Oh, and Justin has one on console. I think donating will help tremendously. How much is to rent cabinets? Blah blah. This person's still in. In a lot of people mm -hmm. want to hold on to the arcades. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. A lot of people yeah, had yeah, yeah. this idea, right? Uh, it's that, not just Phil. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just Phil. Every a lot of people did. Yeah, not everybody. It sucks. But... It sucks to say bye to something that was really a big part of your life, and you know that does yeah. suck. And th the the system mm -hmm. you got good on, you know, that's kind of scary, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it would be a big deal, and I'm sure it was. But we do know that the Cannon Brothers made the right choice. But uh, I think this is DSP. I cannot confirm that to let them know. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Uh, mm -hmm. I think what we <laughs> I think what we've all seen from this thread and the copy of my post and Seth's sticky thread uh -huh. over in fighting game discussion is that. 
People are willing to pay money if they can play on the controls and versions of the game that are tournament standard. If the Cannons would have asked for help with Evo, this would have been discovered a long time ago. Oh, oh, you patronizing shit. <laughs> However, they didn't. They just decided they would make an event-changing decision without even consulting the people that supposedly the event is being held for. Oh, how does he... Like, he doesn't even know what goes on behind... He, do, he can't possibly know what they talked about or how they came to that decision. He can't know, like, what research they did into each thing, you know? And, like, if we stick with just... Uh, you know, if we stick with just arcade cabinets, this will happen. If we go for console, this will happen. He doesn't know. He doesn't know, but he's just assuming because they've made a decision he disagrees with. Because about, you know, how many people have agreed with him? Five have agreed with yeah, him? Yeah, five or six. Him. There was a that few, sends but... him off to seventh heaven. He loves yeah, it. Yeah. When he gets five people agree with him, he thinks the entire world is on his side now, oh. and he gets lit up. Oh, God, what was that book? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, uh, sorry, that's uh, Kat's, uh, that's uh, Phil stink bug. Sorry about that. Oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. We got, I think we have a few other bugs in here. We have an ant. Yeah, ant yeah, ants. Yeah, yeah. We have ants. a few fruit flies fruit as well. Flies. Watch out yeah. for those guys. They do come up. Uh, the sword fort is very dirt nasty here. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if either the cannons or wizard or any of the crucial SRK staff have read this thread or my other replies. There have been no responses, so I have an idea. But if you want Evo to be without controversy and truly the best ever. Put on the main page of the site that if you want both consoles and arcade at Evo to donate only a few bucks, you will make enough money to do this. You just never asked before. Only assume that nobody cares. And so you make rash decisions. He's asking them to be Phil. He's asking them to beg the community for money. And you guys tell us what you want and donate. And let's not forget, Phil is just saying, like, if you have money, it, you can do it. That's not how yeah. shit works, man. You yeah, can't, it's like, not, no. You, you know how much hard it is to put events on? I've never put on a tournament, but I put on other events, you know. It's just You've been thing. to events, yeah. It's yeah, a it's... fucking hard thing, man. It's in, And you can't just, no matter how much money you throw at it, it's not like, okay, now it's easy. We can do it. It's not like that. So just think, Phil is thinking, enough money? Oh, they can do it. They got enough money. With the, money's not a problem, right? But anyways, let's get to what do you think some of the bigger names might think? Because we've heard I've showed you the people that have responded to Phil. I didn't recognize any of the names. I know some of you guys might, but I didn't. But let's get to some people that we do recognize the names of. And I'm going to start with James Chen. And James Chen is the gentleman we talked about two weeks ago on the show uh, mm -hmm. that made that trailer that Phil uh, shit, shit on the guy that oh, was featured yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But anyways, James Chen. Still respected in the game, fighting game community. His Twitter is, is, is a good follow for, how, you know, if you want to follow up in the fighting game scene and fighting games and that kind of stuff. But anyways, James Chan says, I'll bite a little here. And notice the wording there, Steve. Mm -hmm. I'll bite yeah, a little because yeah. he's dealing he with DSP and he knows it's <laughs> like, I, do I want to do this? Do I want to respond here? Because I know Phil's going to fucking say a paragraph back. <laughs> but he does. He bites and he says, donating money is good and all, but it will still be tough mm -hmm. to solve the problems associated with finding enough cabinets and boards for the tourney. I recall having trouble just finding boards to use to fill the machines because since arcades are dying, very few arcades had any boards to spare. So even if we did get the cabinets, we may not have any boards to fill them up, especially if we try to get as many boards as we can get consoles. James yeah. Chan is responding. Uh, hey, it's kind of hard to make that shit happen, right? Yeah, yeah. you can't have parity. It's easier to get <laughs> consoles than it is to get arcade cabinets and boards nowadays. Yep. Yeah. Back to cabinets. Don't forget last year at Evo, there were no standard arcade cabinets. They were all 33 inchers. These are much tougher to come by. Yeah. And they're they also were measured with the receipts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to check the girth of them. What's the girth? <laughs> yeah. uh, they, made, and they are far more expensive than your standard cabinet, and it isn't a huge stockpile of those things in the first place, like there are normal cabinets. So that's that's cool if you're arcade near you and say Michigan wants to donate a 33 incher. Good luck getting it here. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Michigan. Sorry, it's, it's really childish. Sorry. Anyone in, anyone in chat that's from Michigan, shout outs to you. Uh, anyway, also, don't forget one more problem with cabinets the US versus Japan scenario. Tons of matches were put on hold because we had only one Japan to American cabinet set up. We had to swap between games, holding up stuff tremendously. Another in example of how hard it is. To, 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 you know, coordinate all this bullshit, you know? Uh, so that's another reason to go to console, right? Uh, things got really held back at bottleneck because the Japanese players need to play on their style of cabinets. So not only would we love have to get 33 inches, we'd also have to get around 8 to 10 Japanese cabinets to match the speed of Japanese players getting to play that we can get on consoles. Yeah. There's a lot of issues involved with obtaining this stuff. Even if you do donate a bunch of money, 
So while the thought is really appreciated, I'm not sure it'll be necessarily make it as easy to solve the cabinet problem as you make it seem. Mm-hmm. Ronan Chaos. I'm not sure who that is, uh, but he's definitely a name we've seen on here. I feel, and, yeah, I feel like we've yeah, heard that name we've before. We've seen Ronan Chaos before. I don't think it's that simple. Just like James Chan said, donations aren't going to solve the problem if the cabs aren't available or too far to transport. Inkblot, Cannon Brothers Inkblot, yeah, yeah. Uh, also specifically said they'd run into trouble even though they were offering to rent the cabs from Arcade. I'm not really familiar. I'm not really all that familiar with the arcade situation in uh, California, but just knowing that what we have to do to get five cabs for final round and how much of a bitch it's been, getting 30 to 40 cabinets has to be damn near impossible, even if you're throwing money in people's faces for the cabs. I think mm-hmm. was, I think some of the people complaining are asking what is no longer feasible considering the current state of arcades. Anyways, not everyone's going to be yeah, happy yeah. with whatever the outcome is here, but the Cannons and the SRK staff have done good stuff in the past, so I'll trust them. Ronan Chaos sounds like a very, very logical mm-hmm. individual, uh, very normal, uh, very normal human being that I also agree with. I, I would probably agree with in this situation. Uh, yeah. But anyway, anyways. At this point, 2004, he's right. He's got to be really difficult to get arcade yeah. cabinets. I mean... Yeah. So <laughs> and just, and just to get them all in one place as well. All these ones that you've got from like disparate places around the US. Yep. You need to get to the one place. It's, yeah. So this person that's, that's uh, no clue who this is, Temu Jin says, How about you give it up, Phil? You said it yourself. You can't get it to mine. <laughs> now I'm really looking for Phil sock accounts because you know he made them, right? Mm-hmm. He, he made, he's that kind of person to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, how you give it up, Phil? You said it mm-hmm. yourself. The can't made up their minds. But, anyways. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Phil. <laughs> that was, that was, not that bad. Not that bad. Not music. No, not that bad. But no. <laughs> no, no, but but here we go. I guess I should give it all up. Actually, caring about the community and the quality of tournaments instead of the quantity of players is a lost cause. Yeah, Phil. Let's get the pity party rolling. <laughs> Especially when the people who have the money and power to run a large scale tournament like Evo are so close minded. Oh yeah, let's blame them mm. because they got money. All this money. Mm. Yeah. SRK has let themselves blow up their own heads and egos. <laughs> blow up their heads. Because yeah. because you didn't have an ego when you were running top haters, did you? Oh, their heads are so blown up. <laughs> I guess that they think having Evo with a thousand random people who don't really care. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Now we know they don't care. All the people at Evo, they don't know. They don't even know. They don't even, they don't really care, guys. All these thousands of people. They don't care. Oh my god, this fucking guy. So a thousand random people who don't really care and a hundred good players who do care and aren't happy is a good event. In my opinion, it's not. And I've been around since the days of World Warrior. Oh. (laughs) 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 Whoa, look at you. Baller alert. Hang on. (laughs) Baller alert. (laughs) And I've seen every kind of tourney imaginable. I tried to discuss things civilly with both Chris Lee and Inkblot last night. Oh, I would love no. to have that. So, you know, that's fucking know. IRC. Yeah, sorry. That's a fucking IRC log. We, we, that would Chris Lee kill to see. <laughs> Chris Lee apparently got angry that I wanted to have a conversation or something. Or else I've never had a legitimate <laughs> conversation with Capro. <laughs> <laughs> because for whatever reason, he got mad that I wanted to talk or reply to his points and signed off. Inkblot decided to start... <laughs> <laughs> Inkblot, ink, ink, inkblot decided to stuff cotton balls in his ears and say, I've said everything I have to say on SRK. Yeah, like, you know what that means? That's fucking amazing. The, yeah, that yeah. tired of feel shit. Like, all right, dude. I Chris Lee's like, I'm fucking done. Yeah. And inkblot's like, dude, I've said everything. I've here. said Just everything I have to say on off. SRK, bitch. I'm not doing this on IRC too, dude. <laughs> I got shit to do, man. <laughs> I got shit to do in my life. I can't just fucking listen here. Yeah? Jaha, good point. Inkblood is like legit genius at listening mm. to Phil talk on IRC. He has better things to do. <laughs> Dude, I got shit to do, man. I don't got time for this. Wait, shit. With- yeah, I didn't like the cannons. Wasn't there a problem? I think there was a problem at a tournament with like the, the, the way that... Uh, um, a, a server or something was set up, and they like rushed and, and sort of like locked themselves in a in in their hotel room and like quickly coded yeah, a, a said, update yeah, for it. Yeah, told us last week about it, they, they, yeah, no yeah, internet, yeah, yeah. no internet, so they couldn't get the drivers yeah. and the projectors. So they wrote the drivers themselves. Yeah, that was it. Literally yeah, yeah. there. So that's it, USB, imagine that yeah. level of intellect and, and how, sort of like understanding of computers yeah. and networks and code that you have to have to be able to do. That's that. the level you're on, and, and then mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and <laughs> 
it was yelling in their ear, like, all right, dude, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> so, are these the people that we want running the largest tournament that represents our entire Street Fighter community? Do we want a community where the voices of the top players... Okay, remember, Phil's calling himself a top player here. Just remember that. Uh, do we want a community where the voice of the top players, most of which have come out against the 100% console idea, except those affiliated with SRK to begin with, are totally ignored? Not even addressed? Yeah, I'm sure the one-minute Velcro stick video is going to assuade all my fears about the differences between DC and RK versions of games, stolen sticks, my malfunctioning sticks, and a host of other problems that nobody seems to want to talk about. Give me a break. People said that my... Devo, that's devolution. That's that stands yeah, for devolution. Yeah. We talked about it earlier. Video's not there. If anyone has it, I mean, send it, but I don't think it's there. Uh, anyways, uh, people that said my Devo video from last year was going to divide the community, but if you really want to divide the community, just ignore the opinions of the players whose voices should matter the most. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, whose, whose voices do you think matter the most, Phil? <laughs> now you have the allegiance of a thousand new players and zero top players. Have fun with your your SRK community, but don't even try to call it Street Fighter. <laughs> My God, what the fuck? <laughs> don't even try to call it Street Fighter. They're okay. not. It's called Evo. So Shrek is saying the only reason I, the, the, it starts with Shrek, I believe, is the person that left. Though I I thought he was Inkblot. Is Shrek the other person's name? Ja, you let me. Uh, maybe so says, maybe, maybe Chris. That's Chris Lee. Oh, Thank yeah, you so go, much. Yeah, yeah. Chris Lee. Chris Lee. The only reason I left is because I couldn't get a point across. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Once someone starts talking, typing, whatever, before someone is finished, communicates the message that they are no longer listening, too interested in what the response will be. I give the example at work all the time. I can walk up to some people that work with me and say, hey, I just ran into your car with my car. It's messed up pretty bad. Probably totaled. First thing is that the person may freak out. What they don't hear is the second sentence, I'll give you a million dollars cash for your trouble. Granted, I work with hard-nosed military people where they hear the first thing out of someone's mouth and not get the whole story. The simple reason I signed off is that I don't need to get involved in the usual DSP-type master argument. So this is 2004. 2004, friends. 2004. That he, there's, always, there's already a DSP-type master argument in existence. I love that. I love that. Uh, I do not post nor chat when arguments are going on and was trying to make a single point. No one enjoys being cut off or interrupted when they're trying to get something across. I try to hear your point, so you should try to hear mine. It's common courtesy, bitch. He didn't say anything. <laughs> he is not interested in hearing your point, though. He just wants to, like, vent and get his out and yep. say, like, there, uh, there, I've said it. Now, now agree with me. Stop oh, Nino, arguing and agree with me. Dino's asking, what the fuck is Spoonie? Spoonie is a legendary content creator that we did a special on, mm. so I got a visions for him. He's a, he's a big part of my internet enjoyment, even though he's now, mm. some must say a lol cow now, but the, that's up for debate in my eyes. But anyways, Phil, I am not your enemy in this. You know that you know that as well as I do. I suggest you do not start pointing fingers my way and trying to direct your anger my way and call me out. You know me better than that. You know me better than mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, this person responds, ooh. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Drama at, alert. Drama Let's alert. Let's get right into the news. So I, this is, <gasps> now notice how Phil turns on to Sir mode. And what do I mean by Sir mode? Uh -huh. I mean Sir, Sir Star mode or Sir Ha mode or Sir Moist mode. Everything's very civil all of a sudden. All of, everything's very chill all of a sudden. And I'm not, mm -hmm. I, I, this one I can't confirm. Uh, this one I can't, I, I can't confirm it, but I believe it 100%. So you tell me if you believe, yeah. Steve, if this is Phil or not, because mm -hmm. this is one I, I can't confirm. Uh, but I'm not going to argue about this because it's pretty obvious you don't usually have long discussions on IRC, Chris. We should have oh, just talked. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, we should have just talked in a private message that it was between you and me. All, oh. the, all the anger is gone. <laughs> all the mm -hmm. anger is gone. We're calm side, Phil, now. Half mm -hmm. the stuff I was saying was in response. Oh, yeah, it is Phil. Sorry. Uh, half the stuff I was saying was in response to the other idiots in the room who wouldn't shut up. On top of that, when I type on IRC, I type in single lines, not huge paragraphs that you might be accustomed to. No, just kidding. Mm -hmm. He said not huge paragraphs. <laughs> so I agree that it's hard to tell when someone is done talking or going to keep going. But that's why it's IRC. You can both spam lines all over and just read them because they're all there in front of you. It's not in a conversation where somebody's talking over somebody else. You can easily scroll up and read what everyone, everybody had to say. 
I'll apologize for any misunderstanding. I wasn't trying to assault you or cut off any of idea of yours. I just asked if you could reply to something you said. You got pissed and left. I don't know why, but you and I have always been cool. Even when we don't see eye to eye, I want it to, and I wanted to stay that way. So this is all very <laughs> relaxed, calm, <laughs> Phil. Very calm, Phil. Uh, Dewey, Super Chats are off until October. Yes, I did get Susan on that. But memberships are open. That's it. <laughs> it sucks, but uh, it was my own fault. Uh, I did a stupid thing with AdSense. I was trying to make my own private AdSense, but YouTube's like, hey, you already have an AdSense with that being said. I was like, and I was like, yeah. And then I tried to do another one, but now you can't do that. So got to wait till October, boys. Anyways, back to the point. I apologize. We're using Liana's. I should have got Liana's. <laughs> We're using yeah. Liana's. Now, the thing is, you can't even change it. It's like, I was, you can't even do that. But anyways. Uh, so you can't use Choose. No, can't use choosing. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, I apologize for any misunderstanding. I wasn't trying to insult you or cut off any idea of yours. I just want to ask if you, somebody said you're pissed. Anyway, bye -bye. Oh, and by mm -hmm. the way, I think that somebody from SRK does need to get involved in intelligent discussion or argument. Same difference. About this console issue, all the SRK staff seems to want to say is that when they are on IRC, people are still talking about this as if the console and evil issue isn't important. On that note, I have to post something nasty, but I'll do it in a separate post. So he, listen, listen. So he understands he's going to post something nasty. He keeps this like, you know, respectful side fill up for this whole post. That's the civil bit. Yeah, yeah. Chris and, Lee, then... and then right afterwards, we get Phil, actual dark side Phil coming. Oh, oh, why? Why would you, if you are trying so hard to keep it civil there and you recognize that this thing is nasty? Yes. It's so nasty. That it's Weird. going to shatter this uh, illusion of civility that you have going on right now. This supplicants towards somebody who is like socially your better. <laughs> and that why, why? Because you know why? I really think it's because he thinks he's a, he's not above Chris Lee, but he is above mm. everybody else. All these other assholes on this thread. I'm a, I'm above them, but Chris Lee. Oh yeah, he's cool. I get that. He started the. I don't want to get on his bad side. But don't worry, he will. Uh, anyways, let's go. Everyone who is trying to get on the you should feel guilty for criticizing SRK who doesn't have to ha have to do this. Hell, you wouldn't be able to complain if it wasn't for the forms bandwagon can cut the metrosexual shit. Oh, wow, okay. metrosexual. Yeah, yeah, hold on. That was, that was a thing for a I bit, wasn't it? Love that. Hell, you wouldn't be able to complain if it wasn't for their forms bandwagon can cut the metrosexual shit. I'm not sure what that means. But okay. I, it's, I think it, uh, maybe you won't be able to complain if it wasn't for the forest bandwagon cut the metrosexual shit. Maybe I don't oh, know. Oh, cut what the, the. Oh, cut. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. As a cut the complaining. Stop bitching. Maybe. I guess. I guess. Uh, nobody was begging the Candace to start the B series of attorneys. Nobody begged them for SRK. Nope. From SR, them for SRK. Nobody told them to promote themselves as the central tournament organizer for the United States. If SHGL had been on the East Coast, it would have been Evo at the Brig, not in California. Nobody would give a shit about the Cannons or SRK. Fuck out of here. But that's the way it turned out. The cannons have thrown, th thrown their money around and with it have bought themselves the number one U.S. Street Fighter Major. Only oh, sick. Cannons. I got the chicken burger. Nice. <laughs> burger. Sick. So, by the way, Phil is down talking the cannons' accomplishments. Right now he's yeah. saying it's just because they were on the West Coast and they threw their money around and with it bought the number one U.S. Street Fighter major. That's the only reason, guys, is they bought it. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Only this year, they decided to change it and turn it into a console casual play event. Oh, my God. It's that. It, it, it's that. It's arcade proper fighter. It's Remember where that. you do it properly, you know? You, you, you are nobody unless, you know, you grew up in the arcade, you know, putting your coin down so you're next in line and, you know, using the joystick and dealing with the buttons. If you're playing at home, casual. And remember, it's noob stuff. <laughs> in one know, year's it's... time, he would be boasting about winning a tournament on a console at Evo. Mm -hmm. That is one year mm -hmm. from this 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 post. Uh, but anyway, he didn't win. He came Wait, sorry, fourth. Excuse me. He came fourth. I'm sorry. He win. <laughs> excuse me. First in the U.S. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but why not? Why not just cancel the fucking tournaments? That way, you can have all the casual play you want, and no top players will come. Because none of them will give a shit. We never came to tourneys to fuck around with people. I'm sorry, but <laughs> some Street Fighter players are the most nerdy, geeky, annoying, smelly, disgusting fucks on the planet. We just came to compete and make money and have some good matches and some fun in the process. You just called the people that, you know, were there to have some good matches and some fun 
geeky, nerdy, annoying, smelly, disgusting fucks. So it's no wonder you're not getting on with these people. <laughs> so I, I hate everyone, uh, but also I don't hate everyone. I don't know. Wake up. Uh, I, I, I'm Wake. one of these people too. I can't tell if he's saying I'm one of these people too or not. But anyways, but yeah. I guess that true feeling of real competition got lost somewhere. It got replaced with a desire to have your asses kissed by a million people who don't even know what Street Fighter is really about. Oh my fucking God. That was proven when you decided to bring in non-serious fighting games like Smash Brothers. <gasps> oh, dude. <laughs> Get fucked, straight, straight Smash Brothers fans. Like, I, I, I love a pop of the Smash Brothers community as much as the next person who plays fighting games. But they are fucking passionate. <laughs> they just like Nintendo tried to shut them down. Yeah, they said, you know, that. and they are still like dragging CRT TVs to to venues so that they can play melee. It's... Yep, they are d still going to this day. Melee, by the way. <laughs> melee, <laughs> melee, <laughs> melee, <laughs> melee, <laughs> melee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's not a serious fighting games, motherfuckers. Don't you fucking mm. forget it. Give me a fucking break. Have fun destroying your major tournament. Spoilers, it wasn't destroyed. Yeah, uh, there are yeah. things Smash the Bros. is what brought down Evo. <laughs> <laughs> there are things in the works that are going to blow SRK and Evo away anyway. I think he's talking about Impact. That didn't happen, though. <laughs> I think he's talking about the Top Haters famous <laughs> tournament called Impact that never happened. Anyways, that's going to really take care of it. The cannons have been at the top of the U.S. tournament scene for too long. This is why they feel they can shit in the faces of the top players and get away with it. <laughs> because they'll come anyway by the chance to win a shitload of money from a billion scrubs. What yeah. is he going on about? I, I need to turn on the, the echo, wrestling promo echo. You're right, Ludwig. But there are groups like Empire Arcadia, yeah, 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 <laughs> Top Haters, what? And others who are breaking out and making a statement, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> there are other intelligent tournament organizers besides the SRK staff that can put together a legitimate large-scale event. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of time until evolution passes you by. What are you like going to like, do like, then? like one bit where um, <laughs> you can put like crowd noise underneath it. So, you know, yeah, when I we do it. get to like wrestling promo-esque bits from Phil. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Next week I'll have a full echo. Oh, by the way, I'm going to reveal our guest Oi. next week at the end of this show. So stay head on your Oh, yeah. Stay Stay I will edged. definitely let you know who is going to be on the show next week at the end of this show. Mm -hmm. uh, and But what are you going to do then? Anyways, okay. So we have Phil's full full clap back. Uh, and <laughs> Attack on you artwork. And I great. love this. I love this. I love this. DSP, you're not a top player. <laughs> <laughs> yes. DSP, you're not a top player. Do not say that every top player doesn't agree with console. Everyone here knows you dislike the cannons. Anyone remember the fuck cannons video on your site? Unfortunately, oh. I cannot find this. I I would love for anyone that knows about this to send it to me. I can't find it. I have not seen it, but it's probably gone. But there you go. A mm. fuck cannons video on your website. And odds are you won't be at Evo again. You'll be at home posting updates. Remember the thing he was posting? There, All his updates were from home, by the way. Yeah. All those, yeah, so I don't mean how. So he how, wasn't even at Evo when he no, was he doing was not. that. No, he was not. He was just at home. Yep. Like on IRC. And IRC. Learning information from, I guess, friends he had, yeah. I mean, on IRC. Yeah, learning IRC news, he probably picked up, people sharing shit, and then he would do it. But anyway, just yeah, yeah. leave this site and let us be. As I recall, you were banned anyways. God damn right, mm -hmm. whoever you are. System one. Can't tell who you are in this case. Uh, oh my god, uh, this this was proven when you decided to get bring me non serious fighting games like Smash Bros. Oh my god, huh, this guy is crazy. <laughs> <Rolling>. <laughs> this guy is crazy. <laughs> um, so this is uh, from Not Phil. So this guy this guy responds very, very long, but long but well thought out. So I will give this this is not Phil, by the way. This is someone talking to Phil. I just curious, yeah. what is Street Fighter really about that the rest of us who are all right with a console tournament not understanding? 
To yeah. me, it seems like you're all bitching about playing on a six foot box. Blah blah. To be perfectly honest, I'd rather play a bunch of scrubs who didn't have sticks jammed all the way up their asses than play with a bunch of stuck up elitist whiny pricks. You guys yeah. are top uh whiners, not top players. <laughs> 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 if you're so awesome, beat everyone despite the slightly uncomfortable conditions instead of giving up because you can't hold your elite arm in the exact correct position and one small game mechanic is different. You can stay home and complain about how horrible playing a console version game is and how everything is destroyed because of it while, a f while I have fun at Evo instead of wasting an eternity to play a single match. Give it up. And accept it. SRK isn't ignoring the players. They are doing something that they truly believe will benefit the majority of players instead of just kissing the asses of a handful of the top players who can't handle the Switch. If only the absolute that best were accepted to tournaments, you, would, guy, you guys would A, never make any money, which makes it more interesting since so much is riding on it, and B, nobody knew would ever come around. There you go. He's, he's got a point. He, you know, obviously, he's lumping like, all the, the top players who can't handle the Switch is, you know... But he's, he's got a point. This this is going to benefit the majority of people because, like we said earlier, more and more people are playing on console and there's fewer and fewer arcades around in America. Yeah, this guy's so, absolutely absolutely against Phil. He's telling yeah. Phil, what Phil is saying is, is incorrect. Like he's just, But he's also like lumping Phil in with all the top players. Uh, yeah. But anyways, he says, uh, I'd love to see a poll run here. Are you going to Evo? Yes, I don't care that it's console. B, I'm a little disappointed that it's console, but I'm still, I'm still going because it'll be fun. Or C, I'm a little disappointed that it's on console, but I want the money. All right, too many mm -hmm. to read. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, also yeah, yeah, interesting, yeah. so we had real numbers for at least people who came to the forums. Anyways, this person mm -hmm. is saying that um, you know the top player's opinion isn't all that matters, right? And there's more there's different issues of that that you have to come and you know, think about. Mm -hmm. And uh, this person is a preach, bro. Preach, you speak nothing but the truth. Top players are good because they are lucky to be around an arcade area where competition is plentiful. What about the ninety percent of everybody else? Okay, I get that mm -hmm. point too. I get that point yeah, too. Yeah, the, the, like there wasn't an arcade near me when I was growing up, so it was just me and my mates who played console. That was it, you know. All right, so, <laughs> so this yeah. is mix up. Uh, someone that Phil has history with. Uh, something mm -hmm. you might remember mix up. Still haven't covered the mix up classic match. You can see one video of, but we'll get to that someday. Uh, mix up posting. I like consoles a lot. The problem is, I'm worried that about the upsets that will come with the glitches. Everyone is. This is someone agreeing with DSP, so I want to make sure I point it out. Uh, that uh, every, uh, they haven't given us a solution because there simply is not. The freeze is yeah, going to you, happen. Yep, go yeah, ahead. but you get you, you get glitches in like arcade versions as well. <laughs> so it's like, so I, but yeah, I, I agree. Like I have, but I have to show when people win. Good, great, yeah. I, great idea though, Phil. Uh, uh, um, you know, <clears throat> the only way this tournament won't get taken seriously if there are hella glitches and disconnects, and there will be, and we'll take it from there. Come to ECC9, people. I hope the other majors stay in the arcade. Maybe we can leech some uh, West Coast players here that way. So um, we're saying he, this guy's saying that he hope this guy hopes that arcades win out. Basically, I hope that yeah, arcades yeah. Are, continue to be the way. Uh, let's go to um, this guy. So this person is answering him. That one of they said on the flip side, without the cannons, there wouldn't be shit right now. A vast majority of all the majors spawn from B3, 4, 5, 9 to 9, Evo pre-existing. So who is there for whom? You're being pretty one-sided. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see what the class back are to that. Without the cannons, there is nothing. We have our favorite, the FM Jaguar in the house. The man. The, the man. Myth. The man. The Jaguar. He has his own emote, of course. Mm -hmm. FM Jaguar here says, I see two or three problems which are all posted as stickies on the hardware forum. I don't prefer this. Please change it for me. Blah, blah. It's not a problem. The fact that 43 people can vote for double elimination over uh, RR with no good posts on why. Robin. Round Robin. Robin. Makes, makes, with no good posts on why makes me scared to base SF tournaments around internet discussion. Seems good to me. Seems good mm -hmm. to me. Uh, this person says, this is totally true. I don't know who I am going to piss off, perhaps, but think of it as intervention. Oh, tournament organizers have to do what's best for the game. Tournaments cannot be run by public opinion. Great point. Great fucking point. Yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah. in order for the cannons to solve problems with the help of the community, there first of all has to be problems. Wah, I don't wanna is not a problem. And there has to be an <laughs> intelligent community, which there also is not. <laughs> <laughs> Beast. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is a true TN. Dark side Phil, I'm behind you all the way, man. This is definitely man. A, a, a future Phil donator. I'm certainly not a top player, 
But I'd much rather spend all that money on a plane ticket to get, get to a real serious Street Fighter tourney than some overblown in italics. casual Street Fighter play. in yeah. italics. Could this be yeah. DSP? I mean, could be. I feel like. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, he wrote pretty long. Mm-hmm. And, and he, said, he mentions Phil, like, oddly a lot. Like, mm-hmm. kind of, like, over the amount you might normally. Cause yeah. He, Unfortunately, it seems I missed my chance to be part of that kind of Evo. It's now, sadly, the end of an era. If Phil's plan, like, would you say Phil's plan? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> I, you can make your own decisions, but I think it's Phil. Uh, put in action, though. It doesn't have to be over just yet. Uh, P.S. Dark Side Phil, again, third mention. Please PM me if there's anything I can do to help. I have no idea what that would be, smiley face. But I'm definitely willing to back up my words with time, money, effort. That like is... wait, wait, wait. I'd like to sort of like scroll back to just there's there's a line up here which says yeah. it wasn't comfortable or glamorous. The hours were long and the smell was by all accounts not exactly fresh. No one was having fun all the time. Anyone could show up and enter, but no special concessions were made to make the event more welcoming or accessible to the uninitiated. Anyone can enter. How <laughs> how much more accessible does it need to be? Anyone can enter. This does feel like <laughs> Phil even more and more now. Uh, we're made to the, we're reckless, this, its purpose was to provide a venue with the highest level of play in the country in the world. This sounds like Phil more now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one like, else talks oh, they just like let that. in any scrub now. <laughs> as long as you've got thirty dollars to pay on the door, don't let this anybody really in. Really does sound like Phil. Uh, but okay, so and, 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 <laughs> of course, Black Doom, it's O I C. <laughs> <laughs> the next, the next fucking the post is DSP. So again, that's more reason it's probably is DSP. I think swap account. Yeah, swap yeah, account. swap yeah, accounts yeah. real quick. Get it in there. Uh, but this is it's pretty sad that as usual suggestions to try to help the cannons with getting an arcade like setup have gone unheeded someone they've said su- they're not god uh, <laughs> someone suggested that to preserve the integrity of the arcade version of games like MV vs. Capcom 2 and CBS 2 we go get, go along with the console stick part but hook arcade now we boards up to a super gun but this was shot down within 10 seconds with the reply that nobody's work weird with super guns and need two power sources or more to work and even then they're still buggy it's like no matter what we do, this will be a console-only tournament. The pleas of the top players in the current Capcom fighters will go unheeded. There is nothing at all wrong with a console tournament. The problem is that Evo is being billed as the U.S. Fighting Game Championships, and it's not that. It's just the largest console fighter tournament in the country with a convention-like atmosphere. <laughs> 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 it's the largest console fighting tournament in the country with a convention-like atmosphere. That's the, that should go on a tagline. Evo, the largest console fighter tournament in the country with a convention-like atmosphere. It's not serious. Compet- underneath. It's not, <laughs> it's, not. it's not serious competitive play for the arcade versions of these games. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure, okay. Phil. So, if you play arcade and are looking for one central U.S. national go-to, I suggest ECC. Or MWC, which also always has a decent tournament and a huge comp for ZVS2. If you just want to have some fun and hang out with other players, go to EVO. But don't try to say that EVO is the big one. SRK just knocked the tournament off the top of the food chain. I would call that devolution rather than evolution. Honestly, he's just making me sound like... He's just making it sound like EVO's better. If you want to have some fun and hang out with players, go to Evo. Yeah, okay. That's that's what I want from a fighting game tournament, to have some fun and hang out with people. <laughs> now you it's know? time to yeah, hear yeah, from cool. the man himself, Inkblot. A cannon bro has mm-hmm. to see it enough. And he says, I wrote this great inspirational reply, but then I just deleted it. Oh, I pers- man. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think that moving to consoles is going to be a fantastic for Street Fighter long term, but I'll never convince someone like DSP of that. When it comes yep. true, he'll just say, I got lucky. I think I heard a mic dropping somewhere. <laughs> so instead, yeah. I'll ask one very direct question. Arcades will die. Do you want Street Fighter to die with it? Really? I mean, yeah. See, they saw how it was going, at least in America. Obviously, in Japan, it's different. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but at least in America, they saw arcades are dying. More people are on the console. The internet's getting more, you know, accessible for people. This is the way it's going to go. 
I, I get how that's tough back then. I, I really do. Yeah. I really think it's if you really were grew up with arcade, you're like, fuck, man, I don't want to do it. You know, I'm, I don't. Mm. But but this this inkblot was so fucking like far not far sighted. It was the opposite of short sighted. Far sighted in how this community mm-hmm. is gonna go. That he made the right fucking choice. And there's no op, there's no way you can say it's not the right choice. But uh, you know, it's tough for some it's, people to believe them to to agree with that. But okay, you know. Yeah, but I mean, it's like it's, it's 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 like when. Like for me, it's like when the pub I played a couple of gigs at closed yeah. because it's like, you know, I used to hang out there. It was like the metal pub and, you know, I played a couple of gigs, had some good times. And it's quite sad that it's closed because it means, you know, like that period of your life is over now. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, yeah. It's like nothing stays the same forever. Things change and move on. And this was them making like a concerted effort to to do the right thing for the community. Yep. Yeah, you know, it just, it just makes sense. I'm not, but but you know, and a lot of people agree. With, I, as I showed you, there was top players that also agreed with Phil on this. And but but Inkblot in this case and the Cannon Brothers, just they knew they were, they did so much for the community more than Phil could ever say he fucking did. And mm-hmm. <laughs> Phil was just shitting on them and said they got lucky because they that their tournament just happened to become the biggest. Like it has nothing to do with their organization skills, their any, the anything. work you know? yeah, that they put work, into yeah. it. So of course, let's get uh, let's get uh, Phil's response. Got a point as well. Somebody says, but the Dreamcast dead, and they said, but consoles as a whole are, are far, far from, from dead. dead. Yep. Fair, spot on. You know, DC may be dead, but it's still easily accessible, especially for fighting game players. Unlike arcades, you know? yeah, isn't eBay a thing by this point? Oh wow! Well. Uh, here's <laughs> Phil's clap back. Uh, is it is it music worthy? Uh, we'll, we'll lean on the good side. Let's go. Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad. That's why I gave you two. Yeah. <laughs> I gave All you right. O to Joy and O Fortuna. Yeah. I, I, I should have played the other one. I wasn't sure how long I was at it to scroll, but I scrolled a long mm. fucking way the first time. But here we go. This is <laughs> the response to Inkblot Ink from DSP himself. Inkblot deleted his inspirational reply because it probably <laughs> held no validity. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Just like the rest of the non-existent replies to my comments. <laughs> People aren't replying to me People... enough. <laughs> where, are, where are your replies, assholes? Come on. <laughs> Anyways, it's like engage with me is the same. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if Street Fighter dies, it's going to be from a lack of new games. Not by arcades dying. Moving to consoles isn't yeah, doing shit to save Street Fighter. Because like, yeah. like Street Fighter 4... We just did nothing for the series. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> In class of 09. <laughs> uh, so get off your high horse. The problem here is that you have this idea in your head that SRK has been saving Street Fighter for years. It is always the players coming out that kept Street Fighter alive. You guys helped and did a, did a lot to contribute to the community. But don't act like the decisions you make are going to determine the fate of the entire community. Only the community can determine its own future. <laughs> okay. So fair enough, but let, let, that's that's very much understating what the Cannon Brothers have done. They are, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah. The SRK. They are behind that. I don't know if they created that or whatever, but they're like the mods there. They, they run it at least. Yes, yeah, so, and they yeah. also create Evo. So I mean, yeah. that seems pretty monumental. But anyways, mm-hmm. nobody's going to want to play Marvel's Capcom in ten years. In two thousand twenty, in two thousand fourteen, do people still play Marvel's Capcom too? I don't know, but nobody will be playing street fighter at all yeah, there there's, no there's still, especially on fight cage <laughs> okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. uh nobody will be playing street fighter at all if there are no new games at all arcade or console uh super turbo may be the exception but let's face it a handful of old men getting together once a year is not going to be considered keeping street fighter alive <laughs> 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 that is amazing when you think about like the amount of Street Fighter Fridays you'd have where he'd just be sat there. Yeah, no one's coming. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, great. Skoji Tank's back out. Oh, great. It's Jose and it's back out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's Goji again. Back well, out. I'll play him again. <laughs> yeah. If new games are released on console, no doubt, then the community will survive. The games will be played on console from the start, so no discrepancies between arcade and console versions will exist. Therefore, people who play on console from day one have no argument against it. All right, fair enough. My argument against console has always been that the arcade version, which has been terminate standard for four plus years, is not being used for the biggest tournament in the country and in the world. Uh, controls have never ever has never been an issue. Anyone can adapt to a console, console stick if it's held down somehow, so it's not a valid argument. 
It's the differences between arcade and console versions that are sucking it up. And the compromise that is being forced on our throats isn't acceptable. Future games, this problem will not exist, but for games that have always been played in arcade as the turning standard, it just doesn't make sense. In fa the fact that some of the best players ever in Marvel's Capcom 2 are planning to not attend the biggest tournament for that game in the world should tip someone off. Sorry, I just, I have, a, um, I have an issue. Controls have never been an issue. Anyone can adapt to a console stick if it's held down somehow. No, I have really struggled. I've, I've got two sticks to try. Uh -huh. You know, one for like the Xbox and one for PlayStation and PC, and and, and it's just so weird. <laughs> like you, you really have to like consciously think. Whereas obviously, because I've been playing a pad for most of my life, yeah, I just need to think. Like say, like Hadouken, and my my fingers just do it. Uh -huh. You know, I know I know how to move around without even needing. But on a stick, you need to consciously think of like the the direction your hand is going to move, and so adapting to a different way is. It is it's really tough, difficult. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, mm. uh, so the the that though, so, um, but I guess it doesn't matter because an OG player, original gamer player, mm -hmm. who SRK is friendly with, didn't say anything, and nobody's complaining about S uh, Super Turbo. So Phil is saying that SR he's not friendly with SRK. So yeah, uh, he, they only, SRK only cares about people that they're friendly with. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that if there was an outcry by Chris Lee, Tragic, Seth, Valle, Choi and other friends of SRK that AE should be played at EVO instead of Street Super Turbo, it would be there, right? But the fact that no friends of SRK play Marvel's Capcom 2 pretty much spells out the fact of how biased this is. All right? Oi. If, if anyone is going to kill Street Fighter, it's going to be the rifts that you've, you're creating in the community and the lack of new Capcom games. Not the fact that arcades are dying. Street Fighter players will always find a place to play the favorite versions of their games, whether or not it's in an arcade or not. Okay. Okay. But forcing a change and shoving it down the top players' throats in the most popular fighting game ever in the U.S. without convincing them that it's for the best is just suicide for all of us. Oh. You're, not, you're speaking on behalf of them. He's not convinced, but he's saying that they've not been convinced. How does he know that they're not okay with it? <laughs> they could be like, yeah, no, we get it, man. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, we, you know, yeah, consoles are going to be the next big thing. We get it, you know. <laughs> but it feels like the arcade scene is dying, and it, it's us that use SRK that have kept Street Fighter alive. Yep. Also, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my, that's my cat. Yep, um, okay. against the mic arm, sorry. <laughs> so Jaguar <laughs> chimes in and says, for what change is there? For years, every same person knows the largest game tourneys will have to move the console. Evo has planned to be the largest championship, took steps to purposely distance itself from being associated with the traditional arcade Street Fighter, game choices on Apex, pretty much everything about Evo specifically, Third Strike and uh, A3 issues. Alpha 3. Alpha 3. So much so that people built sites to represent the group of diehard arcade players. Nothing wrong with that as long as there's mutual respect. It seems to date it's only been going from the console players to the arcade ones. Even though, as you'll see, console players dictate where the scene goes. <laughs> Don't want to read all that. Um, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, he's, he's obviously ready back to Phil. Top players are products of competition. Okay? If I put in a million dollars into promoting any game, it would have just as many top players. And those top players would want whatever keeps them winning. I mean, we love our top players and all, but we're kidding ourselves if we think they personally are the only people in the world that would ever be respected for Street Fighter skills. I respect their opinions on the subject, but it doesn't make it law. So, FN, FN Jaguar. There is again. a great line. Yeah. There is a great line there. Um, just stop there yeah, for a minute. Uh, the community's already based a lot of what happens in the console world. We just let the top arcade players dictate what's going on. The community started to rise up. Gee, if I could practice on a game 95% of people can't play and I was about to get a free pass to the EVO Final 8, I'd want everything to stay the same too. Mm. Fucking calling out Phil there. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is... That, that, that... Uh, someone says, nice post, sir. I thought it was funny. Uh, uh, but here is DSP's clap back to FM Jaguar. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit it. <laughs> oh, my God. That deserved it, yeah. <laughs> this is the best new addition to the show ever. Yeah. All right. A lot of points. Some more valid than others. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why is Third Strike on Super Gun? In all honesty, I have no idea. The same line of thinking that SRK is using with Third Strike apparently doesn't fly after Marvel's Capcom 2. Okay, that's kind of boring, not really mattering. Yeah, so let's, yeah, go, yeah. let's go to FMJ 
argues that catering to the top players only hurts the community. Well, you're right. You shouldn't ever cater to a small group of people. But you... <laughs> My cultivated audience. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you, the SRK staff, have been the ones who decided that the arcade version of Marvel's Capcom 2 would be turning standard by having that version for years at your own major tourneys. Now you're going to switch it to Marvel's Capcom 2, screwing over that group of top players, while you keep yeah. Super Gun Third Strike for the same reasons that Marvel's Capcom 2 are complaining? There was no yeah. rationality behind this, besides favoritism. Favoritism, not favoritism. <laughs> favoritism. But there is a rationale. <laughs> it's harder to get arcade... Cabinets and boards, <laughs> but it's easier to get consoles. More people have access to consoles than have access to arcade cabinets. <laughs> You've been told multiple times. Yeah, there's definitely favoritism going on here. Favoritism. Yes. Favoritism. Yeah. All right. Come here. As for come your here. comment about here. sane people knowing that eventually Street Fighter will go to console, it depends on what you mean. <laughs> because because <laughs> what Jaguar was saying there is that people that people that are normal humans could see that this was coming right arcades are dying out hey you know what yep. someday this is going to be a console thing someday mm -hmm. you know uh yes all of us expect to see fighting games go solely to console eventually yep. but we're Thank talking you. new games that come out if a game has been played on an arcade version for years and that is turning accepted standard it doesn't make sense to switch to console but if the game is console only or if the console version is accepted turning standard there'll be no problem but the force people to play go. a different version of the game at the biggest tournament in the world for that game because you want to save time and have casual play is just asinine. <laughs> asinine. Uh, anyways, I guess you have. I guess no, you have. Look, why is try and no. find a legal copy of MVC two anymore? You can't. It's PlayStation two. Most majority of average gamers have no idea where to get an illegally ripped ISO to burn the game. Most people could just go to the fucking shop and buy it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, more people, Absolutely. more than enough people Absolutely. have stepped Absolutely. up and straight up said they'll donate a decent amount of money. The most I've heard is 100. Okay. It would help mm -hmm. out to get some arcade machines there. A bunch of people brought premium memberships simply because of my post. I don't know, Rambo. <laughs> two, two people have said they would buy, arc, buy cabinets if SRK would have the boards to put them into. Anyways, if anyone from SRK, including the oh, oh, no, 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 that, that paragraph. Read the following paragraph. Read the, the following paragraph. Yeah, that wait, one, wait. that one. The yeah, problem? Yeah. The problem yeah. here is not money. It's not transportation or the availability of cabs or the unwillingness of people to help out and participate. The problem. That's is that exactly the problem. Yes, I know, it is. <laughs> money That's and the problem, transportation and the availability of cabinets. <laughs> the problem is that SRK has given us the brick wall signal. And simply wants to do it their way. Yeah, like there's no reasons for that. There's no <sighs> reasons. They just wanted to do what they want to do, desert their dominance on everybody. Makes sense? <laughs> Sound good to me? All right. Uh, they have thrown every excuse in the book at us why the cabs are not needed, from money to Velcro sticks to availability of your cabs, but who cares? Console versions are close enough and showed no willingness whatsoever to openly discuss any of the issues. Any legitimate argument is either ignored or hated on by some huge post that raises valid points that have nothing to do with the argument at hand. Okay, so what he's saying there is some people <laughs> say shit, but it has nothing to do with the argument at hand. Right, mm -hmm. right. If anyone from SRK, including the Cannons, Wizard, Tragic, Seth, or anyone wants to get on here and start a valid discussion on why such changes are taking place without hate, making fun, calling people whiny scrubs or elitists, then that would be acceptable. At least try to convince the community that this change is beneficial. But being favoristic, favoritist, favoritistic, favoritistic, yeah, yeah. Being favoritistic to the third stri third strike players while the players of the tourney with the highest turnout are ignored doesn't make any <gasps> fucking sense. <laughs> that has to be a mush mouth. I, it drove me. I needed to check up Pig Go, and I think he says favoritism. <laughs> favoritism. <laughs> oh god all right let's keep going let's keep going so this is the clap back um so older games have very little if any accessibility should be on console it shouldn't even be debatable right uh and i love this i love this i love this so he's talking about new people would come right so, so i don't want to do the whole thing but he said i mean isn't this the whole point to compete against more and more players if the prospect of facing several new great players doesn't excite you I'm not sure why you're still playing competitively. Very nice point. Very nice point. Right? Very nice point. Uh, next person here, which is not DSP, but it's worth it. You're making it sound like it Evo does. is just a convention this year. Like tournaments won't happen or something. 
Console tournaments are the evolution of arcade tournaments. You have to accept it and move with the change. Or you can cling to what you're used to. Change is not always bad. Who knows? Maybe this year's Evo will bring about a completely unheard of and astounding Marvel's Capcom player who could rival Justin. You just never heard of him because they only play consoles. Poss possibility. Console tournaments are not a bad thing. Top players will be top players whether arcade or console. They're not going to catch amnesia the moment they're forced to play on console. Forget everything that makes them great. This he does. Our, yep. I'm it's sorry. Cool. He says it favoritism. It's just too many times. There is no way this is a mushmouth <laughs> thing. I'm just going through. Um, there are 46 results for favoritism. If you spell it properly, spell it properly. YouTube does catch it, but he says it favoritism. There is no way he's saying that favoritism. It's favoritism. I, I can't believe that. That's incredible. So this guy, so this I'm sorry, guy, everyone. Favoritism. Yeah, favoritism. New word. FM Jaguar decides to clap back right on Phil himself. We're getting to the end of this mm -hmm. thread, by the way. Uh, he says, uh, the same line of thinking that SRK is using third strike apparently doesn't apply to FC. I see it that way. Uh, so agreeing with that there. Uh, is, not, is nothing game ruining or acceptable? Uh, so the demand for Super Gun doesn't make sense. By that token, no U.S. players are good enough to use Anok at a tournament winning level, but I'm sure someone will take you up on both arguments. Uh, keep it that way. <laughs> no room on the board to add this. <laughs> keep in mind that SRK chose to have three, uh, whatever. He's talking about that that's shit. Um, this is kind of too long even for FN Jaguar to read, but he's going nuts. Let's get to his conclusion. FN Jaguar dropped a bomb there. That's the longest one of the night, maybe. Uh, people have always have problems with organized events. At this point, the problem with consoles are just personal problems with a few people that are normally bashing things they don't like anyway. The situation hasn't escalated in the past 200 posts. It's just you, DSP, running in circles, trying desperately to get someone of power to accept your bait. But all you get is me, I guess. Oh, uh, FM Jaguar, thank you for taking the bait. At least your service to the community is recognized and respected. Thank you. He knows it. He knows mm -hmm. it. Yeah, Cyclops uppercase pull, uh, <laughs> exclamation point pull is how you do a pull. I just don't think anyone, even if they prefer just make sure game, nobody can hear what you you know open yes, your folders exactly. and make sure no one can hear. Yep, yep. The game now isn't really whether Evo is going to be arcade; it's how long you keep this thread going. I love that. The, the game now <laughs> isn't really isn't really whether Evo is going to be arcade; it's how long can you keep this thread going. <laughs> oh, he knows. <laughs> he sees Phil for what he is. Honestly, where are the numbers behind this plan for cabinets? Where are the tons of top players pulling out of Evo? Is there really a case here? Or are you just being you? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Fucking own. Fucking own. FM Jaguar. Get it going. <laughs> Get fucked, dude. FM Jaguar. Dropping bombs. <laughs> Fam Jaguar is a legend, dude. This dude attacks the best way possible, just striking like a jaguar in the fucking grass. Jaguar that needs to be the pinned one. That needs to be the pinned. Is there really a case here, or are you just being you? Oh there my go. god! Pinned. Get it pinned. <laughs> is there really a case here, or are you just being you, motherfucker? Fuck. God. If you think all attention is good attention, you got some people to donate to Evo. If you keep it up, you might get someone mad enough to give you another grudge match. You get another article for your site. <laughs> so it's all good, I guess. <laughs> I even applaud your efforts to help out Evo. I just think it's a destructive approach in the long term. I'm fucking spot on that. FM Jaguar, dude. <laughs> Does not fuck around. <laughs> Some people's egos are just too big. <laughs> <laughs> Some, e Some people's egos are just too big, and they keep whining about stuff that don't really matter. Can't you see that what players want is competition no matter what? Even if it means playing on console. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and going to consoles is a good idea, because I'm definitely a better player with a pad than arcade stick. Yeah, yeah, sir. Just happens. happens. Here we go. So, <laughs> the response is, I'm not trying to just keep the thread going. Right, right. I uh -huh. let it be for like a week, and then Inkbot replied with some BS. So I had to reply. <laughs> then you kept it going by replying. How dare he reply? How dare he? And now he? you're replying. Yeah. And now what? you're replying to keep it going. 
Yeah, how dare you, FM Jaguar? You reply. You kept it going, okay? <laughs> Wait, yeah, what is this? Shit. Some sort of forum? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cyclops86. I'm going to pause the stream for you. Do the Type the exact same thing. <laughs> type the exact same thing I'm doing. Just copy and paste that, and you will pull. I promise you'll pull. <laughs> <laughs> Just copy and paste that exact same thing, brother. All right, let's go. Let's see what I get real quick. Now we pause. WPIG pull for yeah, Rambo Bambo is going to be a, oh my God, China. Hey, China was cool in her day. I'm, I'm yeah, happy yeah, yeah. with that. Can you imagine uh, if it had been the Prestige Hogan, then people would have called it a fix. <laughs> definitely. If you'd been the one. <laughs> I'll definitely take it. <laughs> okay, let's go. In the long run, a uh, console isn't that big of a deal. I agree 100% control-wise. <laughs> in easy China, to... they say. <laughs> in China, they do say. <laughs> it's easier to go use a stick and play it on that at Evo than to be surprised by some wacky loose type 360 that doesn't respond like your own. I also agree that new fighting games we play on console 100% because arcades are slowly but surely disappearing. I just feel that forcing the best players in the world that that's he means him mm -hmm. uh, like myself uh, that are familiar on is this fair? That's all. I also speak up when I feel something is unjust and I take a lot of heat for it. It's not like the, uh -huh. I expect that place at Evo. I just know that a few of the top players are seriously considering not going. Names you would be very surprised to hear. Name names, bitch. Yeah. Because the console yeah, situation. On, Say it. Yeah. Cash I mean, if they are the best players in the world, I'm sure they'll be available to, you know, they'll be able to adapt to a, a new way of playing. If it's oh, that easy, Phil, like you said a, a bit ago in the previous post, if it's that easy to adapt from pad to con to, to stick and back again. Yeah. Then so, surely the best players in the world won't have a problem with it. So the and, and so the switch to console has no positive aspects whatsoever. <laughs> no positive cons capacity, I can't even say it. No positive aspects whatsoever. Wh what? I mean, it's <laughs> You just said some good points now, but all yeah. right, whatever. I, it's whatever. There's no positive aspects apart from like it's easier to get them. They're smaller, so they're easier to transport, and you know, more and more people are used to playing on them. But apart from that, yeah, it's yeah, like it's, that, it's like that yeah, incest thing when right. people were like, if you remove like the legal and the moral and the social and all these ob like objections to it, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like well. if you remove all the good things about this, is it that good? In that case, no, there's not enough. It's not meaningful enough. Still. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you remove all the positive aspects to, uh, of, of playing on consoles. That there is... are no positive aspects to it. <laughs> it's not meaningful enough. That's why incest <laughs> is bad, guys. It's not meaningful enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I've never played on this console, so it's all right. <laughs> but uh, yeah. all right, anyway, let's get to this. Then I, it goes, like, besides, besides not having to physically bring boards and caps there and possibly saving an hour. No positive aspects apart from, like, the big issue with arcade cabinets. Possibly at the saving that an people hour. People have been telling them. Look at possibly saving an hour or two. That's how long it takes to get console uh, to arcades get set up, guys. An hour mm. or two. Yeah. That's how long it takes. That's it. Hour or two. Is that all? That easy. That's it. Isn't it? Yeah, but surely. all the prop, the, whatever. Let's get to his. Even tragic did an accidental pause last year. If that happens in the heat of match, Evo, I'm going to call for disqualification no matter what. Oh, don't. But it's me. not because like the buttons for a, the start and select are like distanced away from the square and X. And, uh. Here we go. There's going to be a lot of bitching, a lot of trouble with sticks, a lot of issues, and no saying of time at all. But rather than discuss the issues, those in charge of Evo have just decided to stick cotton balls in their ears. <clears throat> They'll be sorry. Spoiler alert, they were yeah. not sorry. History saw to that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were not sorry. They were never sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and, and, and here's, uh, this one is not the, is, I just feel that forcing, is this Phil again? I don't think this is Phil, but mm -hmm. I can't tell. He, he has posted under his posts, remember? So just because there's more people that might not place, that means they don't give have as big of a pull on the console versus our country versus his top players. I think everyone who goes to Evo has the same chance as the next person. Oh, yeah, this is not. They're not agreeing with Phil. Yeah, so no, it's not. Yeah. Probably it. Granted, we know who the best are, but each year people are getting better and better, and you may be right. Some Joe scrub may not place top three, but why shoot down his choices before the tournament even happens? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Good points. Good yeah. point. It's it always point. hype when you get like some newcomer comes out of nowhere and like smashes the competition. Yeah. It makes a huge hype final, doesn't it? It just boils down to the fact that at least to giving the console Evo a chance for a year, there's no true way to predict how it will go until it happens. And hey, if it sucks, 
and at least try to have some fun by interacting with other players. Phil can't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, not you can't me, do mate. that. You can't do that. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Did I you not hear before part... about that? Yeah, the, that's the, exactly. The, like... I thought that was part of the fun of a tournament experience. Anyway, yes, you're right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, human. Phil yep. doesn't think that though because he doesn't have any friends. That's the sad mm -hmm. part. All right. Okay, Ziggy. Yep. Ziggy claps back at DSP directly this time. Directly, directly. I don't think they are as familiar as you're claiming. Uh, they have been plenty of console attorneys all over the world, and the only way to practice outside the arcade has been used by the majority of top players for years. Your mountain looks like a molehill to me, sir. <laughs> oh, that's a good line. <laughs> by the way, I failed to see our standover tactics about top players missing the event over this or that big of a deal. No one respected Cole any more or less when Daigo didn't make it to Evo 2K2 Street Super Turbo. All players have the freedom to choose whether they attend or not, and they're well aware of that. They'll gain or lose. They're well aware of what they'll gain and lose by missing Evo. Everyone has known this for years about cabinet versus console format issues. Next. Mm. So what you've just said is that the format won't affect the outcome. Even if I give you the benefit of the doubt here and note that these players who wouldn't, won't be affected are probably not going to come because they'll be affected. Work that out if you can. And the problem is one of attendance, not format, which I already mentioned above. Mm -hmm. This is an extremely pessimistic outlook, but on the bright side, it implies that the cannons have nothing to lose and everything to gain by giving consoles a try. Things yeah. of ignorance from SRK yeah. staff are a load of garbage and you know it. They know that what they stand to gain, and they're well aware of all the potential problems and issues. I'll bet that you can't even begin to fathom the amount of planning that has gone into this up to this point, even before the console decision was made. You are correct, sir. Mm -hmm. All this aside, all well, this we know aside. we know that from his like bloviating on um, uh, impact. And like um, how big it's going to be and how there's going to be people filming it. So there's going to be like a DVD and they're going to be good films yep. as well. You know, not just people with a handy camp proper. There's going to be an area for you to cut your backstage promos and have interviews and stuff. You know, yep. we'll have a huge screen for the, the main hype matches. We'll have a bit for like grudge matches and stuff and money matches. He, he had no idea of like what it actually took. Like to, you know, say like hiring electricians to wire everything up to make sure everything like turns on. No, properly, he has you know? zero clue what goes into the tournament mm -hmm. and he's just blaming Cannon Brothers for making this change and saying there's mm -hmm. no positive aspects to it at all. And clearly people have explained the, the, the problems with him not listening as usual. The SP argument, the SRK forums, his not listening until a big enough name claps back if they ever do, and then he'll kind of succumb and say, that's yeah, yeah. not what I was saying, what? Or something like that. Or he'll start joking, yeah. bending the knee. It always happens. But anyways, uh, by the way, you could forget about saving Street Fighter. The best we can hope for with Capcom's attitude is to preserve Street Fighter. Most games see Street Fighter as an archaic pastime now. And even if new games emerge, the market focus has shifted so far that nothing short of an SF1 to SF2 style revolution can possibly renew interest. Well, then, that's what we got. <laughs> to be it fair. won't even be noticed in an arcade environment. I don't think the cannons are trying to save Street Fighter and so help those that believe that's what tourneys are doing. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting fair point. Finish. I mean, he's right at the time, the attitude towards... Because Capcom was all like burned by the, the cold reception of Third Strike. Yeah. You know, so... You know, so, and, and again, as arcades were dying, especially in the West. This is like the period called the Dark Ages uh -huh. before the release of Street Fighter 4. Even though there's still stuff coming out, there's still some good stuff coming out, like Soul Calibur 3 and Mortal Kombat, Deception, Deadly Alliance and all that. They're coming out. You know, there's a couple of compilations here and there. Capcom vs. SK2 is still viable. Me and my mate are still playing it at this time. But yeah, up until like Street Fighter 4 came out, that sort of... Yeah, Tekken as well. Thank you. Tekken was still going. Um, but yeah, he, he was right with that. Yeah. A, a Street Fighter 1 to Street Fighter 2 style revolution is what you got when you go from Third Strike to Street Fighter 4. Completely, okay. yeah. Okay. Completely revitalized the series. So let's finish this one up here. They said, wow, this thread is still going? Somebody locked this thing. If you want to debate arcade versus console, start a new thread. This point thread is pointless now. Ronan Chaos says exactly the question we all asked. Uh, who? I just know that a few top players are seriously considered not going. Phil said that, of course. Very surprised to hear because of the console situation. Who? That's all we want to know is who, motherfucker. Who? Say it. Silatan answers, I think that's been the favorite question against DSP. He states top players are against the console switch uh, and are complaining. Who? 
Who's made a big fuss o o over it that's a top player? I'm curious, as well as a lot of other people. I don't think DSP will be happy if the cannons insist of BYO controller, bring your own controller. They say, bring your own cabinet. Because that's really the only way it's going to happen. I personally don't see many top players in general that go purely to compete in the tournament. Every time I've been to one, everyone's playing before <laughs> and after for casual play. If mm -hmm. it were possible, I'm sure locals would love to run a machine for casual while the tournament was running. Why is this so hard? Cabinets are a bitch to get. Boards are a bigger bitch to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's easy to just, you know, console and a telly. Fine. You know. So anyways, so this person, yeah, yeah. amen, motherfucker. Amen. Who is saying it? Who is saying it? And here we go. Of course, Phil's clapback is, I guess you didn't read anything at all because the issue isn't the stick type or the level of sticks. It's the differences between arcade and console versions of the game. Congrats. You've just <gasps> received the tophaters.com Moron oh. of, of the Month Award. Reading, it's fundamental. Oh, oh, please. I, I, please tell me. You have that one. <laughs> please tell me you have a link to that Moron of the Month page. I think there is a link to the more of the month, but I don't have it. Because I'm guessing that top yeah. haters link is just to the main. It won't be like directly to the page for the more of the month for that guy. Um, so, so Phil says more on a lot. I will look for the more of the month and we can do yeah. the callback next week. All right. I'm going to look for I think it. we have. I think we have read one of them. I Wasn't think there, there, seen, there, there yeah. was like a rant about um, I think it was, yeah. I, I, we have players seen it. before it. We have we seen have like seen a venting bit. Yeah, yeah. But he's the moron of the month. So this guy's the moron mm. of the month. Uh, Ronan Chaos beautifully states, uh, just, just quote posted those two. Who? Give me the names. Who? Again, he mm -hmm. posts that second time. No answer. No answer mm -hmm. there. And the final yep. post, it's below where the, vi the window is, but it says, Phil's mom. The last, oh God, I'll, I'll bring it up. Oh God, I forgot about this. Eight days later, the last post in the thread, I'll let you see it because it's too good not to share. You guys won't believe me if I don't show it, right? So I got to show it. Uh, it is right here. And uh, <laughs> it's funny. It's worth it. Hang on. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> the last post in the thread. Eight days later, it says, uh, who? <laughs> Phil's mom. Word on the street is she's the top skin flute player, and if guys are sitting down <laughs> instead of standing up, it'll throw her <laughs> game off. Oh, 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 God. How dare you? <laughs> God. And that was the last in that thread. <laughs> I feel that's, like even that's like a level above Phil. <laughs> yep. Know? <laughs> yep. Now some shows might stop here. Some shows on the internet might stop here. And Steve might be happy if yeah. we stopped here, but there's one more thread we have to go through, much smaller in scale. Uh mm -hmm. that's worth it. Let me get this out of the screen so we can see that prestige pool. Uh so this is this is from we're gonna fast forward two years forward in time now because this is what some people think is the reason that Phil hates the Cannon Brothers. But I hope today uh -huh. you've seen there's it goes before this, right? It definitely goes before that. It go, it, it stems from being banned that first time, I believe. Um yeah, the, from 2004, mm. getting banned for the evil updates is where I think the hatred came from. Though many think it is this incident we're going to show right now. And this incident here is uh, the incorrect brackets, okay? The brackets, uh, incorrect bracket, bracket deciding here. So we're going to go to 2006, just this post mm -hmm. here. Uh, and the problem is going to come from the brackets, okay? And a lot of people do have issues with it. Uh, it says, uh, Marvel's Capcom 2, Justin and Yipes in the same pool. Are you serious? Of course, a lot of people on SRK are going to come up with every lame excuse possible to justify what happened at Evo. But East Coast, y'all know what's up. It just seems really bad that people have to resort to this West Coast. Uh, no offense. I'm not going to say it's all good because it's not. And only one word can describe it. Shady. Let's see what happens at Evo World. So the problem is two high-level players were placed on the same bracket, the same side of the bracket. Uh, we should say, okay? Mm -hmm. So, some people are, this is a big quote, some people are, you know, asking about what's the thoughts of everybody. This person says, maybe they did random seeding after separating regions, uh, punished, it may have just been bad luck, but it might have punished people that did not pre-register and randomly stuck them in a pool. Like they said, they would be on the forums and website, uh, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, people are still just saying their thing. Uh, J. Ron is saying, nope, it really is bullshit. Uh, but it said, you know what, though? This opened my eyes even wider. The fact that it's a resort to this just makes me realize we're the, we're the best. That's all. That we're a bigger threat than what's been said. So J-Ron here is trying to push this, <laughs> mm -hmm. this, this uh, Theo theory that mm -hmm. they, the West Coast made these brackets 
in a way that uh, would make the East Coast best players kick themselves out, kind of, you know? So, like, yeah, yeah. on one side of the bracket, they play each other, knock one, most of them out. Then you yeah, have yeah. Player. So, Viscont steps in, and we always want to listen when he talks. He says, brackets were fucked up. Viscont. 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 Sersant. 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 Seating was only done via zip code, and since most people came from the almost same zip code, seats came out onto us random. I can give you other examples at Evo West. For example, if four matches at West, I had to play John Choi and Combo Fiend. I didn't get the worst fit at West by far. Uh, Combo Fiend's run. It's only got to get worse at Vegas with Japan and top players from regions who couldn't make it. So, there is a problem when they seed by, like, region, but if there's all from the same region, then it goes by yeah. random. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, just got sharing this situation. I know it gets complicated here. But let's get to it. Uh, quoting, this is someone saying, quoting Evo, the, the player guide, regional seating will be done for online registrations only. They have mm -hmm. registrations will be randomly assigned to a bracket. Okay? So yeah. it's randomly assigned. So you know that. Uh, Tanton says, yes, the cannons are out to get you. I hear at Evo Finals, they plan to steal your milk money <laughs> and call you gay on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should complain too. Last year in my GG pool, I had Kim Devu, my Sesti pool, I had random Asian person, and James Chen. I had three top players in my Tekken pool. Evo discriminates against Reno based Angie players. Conspiracy. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> NKI, the person we've seen on the show before, agrees with J Ron. These brackets were totally whack. Random seating is really unfair to the players because what ends up happening in a situation like this is the good players who got dropped into this bracket of death are eliminating each other in the early rounds where every other bracket is made up of one good player. I really hope they do proper seeding at Vegas. So just trying to show that there is top players that we have seen that do agree with DSP in this case. Yeah. Say what you will about that. Okay, let's go to 17 and... Laying the groundwork. Yes. So we know. Context. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um... We have agreement. I agree that some of the pools were BS. Just showing you mm. more agreement here. Yeah, Let's yeah. get to our old friend Bucktooth. Do one of DSP's best friends, right? <gasps> Bucktooth. Ooh, what do yeah, you think, yeah, Bucktooth? Yeah, Bucktooth? Back in the day, yeah. It's not a conspiracy, just shoddy bracket making. Last Evo, my CVS2 pool was almost ever SVGL players. Uh, Evo West, this is blah, blah. Tekken 5, blah, blah. Okay, so Bucktooth says it's not a conspiracy. It's just not good mm. bracket making, okay? Just yeah. showing you. Let's mm -hmm. get to some more um, here. What you guys, uh, Reno Rob says, uh, what you guys seem to neglect is that, yeah, the black bracket of death appeared again. That's sometimes going to happen, especially when playing in pool brackets. In tournaments, brand new seating, good players are going to be put together with other top players. Sometimes more than two per pool. Shitty, but that happens, so stop whining. Yeah. If Justin is as good as he is, for which I know he is, he should have made it out of his bracket. That's it, plain and simple, but he didn't. Oh, well, you can't win at all, and you can't expect special treatment all the time. I agree with this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it happens, right? All right. Yeah. Yep. It's a Justin Mupreme. Yep. Those are amazing players. Someone's going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> you get, you get all top players can't all win. You know? And this person I do want to point out mm -hmm. is says, um, I besides if anyone ha I thought had a shot to win East Coast AE, it would have been NKI or DSP. So this person thinks that NKI or mm -hmm. DSP are good players. Yep. Arcade edition, out. yeah. Let's go back to Sir Sant. Sorsant, <laughs> I'm with Rob. People get dicked every year by brackets. You don't like it? That's how tournaments work. If you're going to win the tournament, you would have to play these people anyways. Thank you, Sorsant. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Always smart, Sorsant. <laughs> really, what it comes down to is this. Who are we having tournaments for? Are tournaments for the top players who have a shot at winning money? Or are tournaments for everyone? This is how... That a, 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 a smart, intelligent person argues on a forum. Not argues. I should say the wrong words. Not argues. It shares their mm -hmm. opinion. Okay? Mm -hmm. Polarity says, how exactly do you guys propose the tournament was seated? Who do you trust to judge the best players? Seems like that just opens you up to even more bitching. I definitely agree with that as well. If, once you bring in, like, decision-making, like, oh, that's a good player. That, that's a good player. Let's put on a different bracket. It's kind of shady. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You're deliberately doing it like that, and then people are going to be like, "Oh, why did you put him there? Why not put him?" There? It's it's easier to just do random. Look, if you register online, we're doing it by where you live, and if you turn up, you know, if you're doing it on the day, 
random. We're just going to chuck you all into a pool and pull yeah, like that. Yeah, and live with it, right? So Mr. Wizard yeah. um, chimes in here. Mr. Wizard is one of the Speaking Canterbury. Speaking of pools. Works, <laughs> <laughs> works on SRK. Uh, controversy regarding, regarding him later. He would have some unfavorable things he would admit to doing, uh, but let's not get to it now. Good luck on the pool, mm. Steve of the Dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no one gets a free ride anywhere. Beat the people in your bracket if you want to be seated at Evo. No, oh, oh, suck nice. it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice braided hair, Jenna. That's rare. Mm. Uh, no one gets a free ride anywhere. Beat the people in your bracket if you want to be seated at Evo Worlds. After all, that's what a tournament is, to find out who the best is, not to find out who can get the furthest playing scrubs. Thank you so yeah. much for that. Mm -hmm. Sir Wizard, Let's. would you like to hear from Jay Wong? Mr. Wong. Sir Wong, I should say. <laughs> I don't really care about seating and shit. Uh, but playing my friend John Gordon first round in AR, sure. Zip code seating my ass. We live 10 minutes away from each other. Okay. <laughs> Proper seating for the top players doesn't mean a free ride, you know. We earned that seed due to our previous turn of performances. Why should Johnny Donuts get an easier bracket than a top player? Johnny Donuts should get a harder bracket. If Johnny Donuts <laughs> deserves to make top eight, they will beat the top players. So putting top players against top players in pools are stupid. Justin Wong is not in favor of this situation. Uh, mm -hmm. I do dis the, the 10 minutes comment is kind of silly because it is a zip code thing, but it doesn't matter how close you live in that zip code, Sir Wong, but no disrespect, yeah. but just showing you that Sir Wong is in favor. It does think these pools were, were not good. And to share the news mm -hmm. here, sharing the things. Ooh, pixel, pixel, um, Pixel Maximilian. <laughs> pixel oh, right. I thought you had like... <laughs> no, pixel dude. It's like, that's how much the other person that beat DSP won by. No, no. Ju so, uh, <laughs> Pixels, my friend. Justin Wong said seating was... This person says seating was random. Justin Wong thinks it was not random. Um, mm -hmm. how, what do we say we go to when DSP chimes in? All right? We have to go pretty far. For some reason, DSP didn't chime in until much later. And of course, we get it! <laughs> 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 okay, let's go. <laughs> Here's my take, motherfuckers. I mean, I'm, I I prefer that one, but I can see why you like Oh Fortuna because it's <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> Black... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Black brackets have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the black brackets themselves have no excuses, okay? Black brackets. Mm -hmm. We're tired of you, black mm -hmm. brackets. Stop stealing the black backpacks, black brackets. <laughs> I don't I don't get why he's pissed at black brackets themselves. Aren't you pissed the people that create the black brackets? But okay. Black it's brackets. Because they were hanging around the um the, the Burger King and making him nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, urban style brackets. <laughs> you have no excuse. If you are a gamer and you know <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's still talking to the brackets <laughs> okay so black brackets you have no excuse if you are a gamer and you know the people attending your tournament you can see properly and separate top players so black brackets don't happen black brackets <laughs> so again phil is wanting the, the 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 tournament organizer to decide oh that's a good player and that's a good player so they should be at the same side that's that's very fair and honest and, and no there's definitely no uh, preferential treatment that could happen from that. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Brack nope. brackets. I'm saying brack brackets from now on. <laughs> Only if seating. <laughs> oh, fuck. Only if seating was 100% random would brack brackets be acceptable. <laughs> I know this was the case. <laughs> Evo is notorious for creating brack brackets with no reason. <laughs> the first Evo in 2008 had an ST brack bracket. So give me a brack. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> okay, well done. That was good. In fact, the term "brack bracket of death" came from Evo 2K2 because, ironically, brackets were color coded that year, and the ST bracket that was loaded with top players was co color coded as black. Code brack. <laughs> <laughs> piece of piece. Code brack tonight. The reason the brack brackets have been a. <laughs> 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 Give me a brack. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Break me off a brack of that Kit Kat bar. Okay. The reason that brack brackets have been happening in Evo for four years now is because people that run Evo on a consistent basis, except for Seth, are not gamers. So now he's calling Jeez, the Cannon Brothers just, not yeah. gamers. Okay? Cannon Brothers, mm -hmm. you are not gamers, you dumb fucks. So get the fuck mm -hmm. out of here. Don't hide, don't hide how you feel, Phil. Tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they know absolutely nothing about who is good, who is bad, and who deserves a seed. 
Rather than taking responsibility <laughs> and create fair brackets, they are probably giving it a f- uh, giving a few favored players seeds and then randomizing everything else. Maybe they feel this takes responsibility for brack brackets away from them, <laughs> but it doesn't. So now they're saying they're, he's accusing the 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 Cannon brothers who even you know two years since our last mm-hmm. uh, check in last thread was two years ago, right? Have been mm-hmm. running Evo correctly. Have even awarded DSP fourth place at Evo, uh, you know. But he still hates it. Yeah, black brackets has to be an emo very soon. Black brackets. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. We're not done. I, for one, would have loved to have a more challenging bracket in AE. Basically, I play Mo pre. Oh, uh, don't you love that? What a competitor, oh, Steve. I yeah. would have loved to have a more challenging bracket. <laughs> Cat got bracked. I would love to have a more. Cha- <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Cat got bragged. How dare you? That's thin ice. Extremely thin ice. <laughs> the reason that Brack brackets have been happening even four years now is because people that okay, I already read that. I for one would have loved to have a more challenging bracket at EO. A E. <laughs> nobody said Brack Ak Ak here. <laughs> bracket attack. <laughs> Basically, I played Mo Prem first round and almost lost because Vega couldn't fucking wall dive in A E, and then played a scrub. Mike Crack. Well, at least you called him a scrub to his name, I guess. Really cool, non-toxic <laughs> member of the community here. Who I've beaten a bunch of times now and actually felt bad about playing. Julian. <laughs> Sorry, some Brack okay. problems. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the Brack ice. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's neighbor told him to quit the Brack. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, who I knew I was going to... Oh, excuse me. Julian, who I knew I was going to R-word and told the night before, and then Justin twice. Was it rigged? Jeez. Honestly, I would almost say yes if I didn't already know that the Arcanas don't like me from all the shit I've pulled and said about them over the past five-plus years, starting Jesus. at five. So this has been a five-year hatred, deep-rooted hatred. I was not lying. Five years. From, so he means 2001. Yeah. He's, he's hated them for, like, five years, and then he's like... Well, I guess they don't like me. <laughs> so he's hated the Dutch brothers for more than 20 years. Put your head around that. Uh, so I guess I just lucked out, but I feel the results would have been the same regardless of what bracket I was in. Look at my fucking line. Look at my fucking... Okay, now we're going to uh, dunk on a few people again. Look at my fucking yeah, yeah, line yeah. of wins last year at Evo. That's Remember? This is when mm-hmm. he got fourth place, yeah, yeah, by yeah. the way. He's talking yeah, about his fourth place here. Scrubs in my bracket... But then I lose to Bucktooth, shout out to Bucktooth, my ST nemesis, then wins mm-hmm. over John Choi, Mike Watson, Jason Wilson, Flash G, who I literally play in every tournament, and Dame Dramedy. No scrubs in the top 32, and arguably four of the West Coast's best ever in ST. Come on now. You're telling me there was nobody else? Dude, it's 2006. Maybe not like everyone is playing Super Turbo. This it's not so... like it's 1994. <laughs> you know? It's really, it's really a, a, an amazing personality to say, like, look at my win last year. This is how awesome it was last year, okay? Look how awesome I was last year. It couldn't be better. Even I got through this horrible bracket last year, but he just wanted to bring it up, you know? It's like, just wanted to mm-hmm. bring it up how awesome I was in my fourth place win, okay? Mm-hmm. Fourth place yeah, you could beat anybody win. else, though. <laughs> Those are the wins. Look at, look at ECC. <laughs> how many bra- <laughs> Now look at ECC. How many Brack brackets? None. <laughs> Guess who drew up the brackets for most of the tournaments? Players. Every tournament was a combination of ECC staff, myself or Jack Wim- Josh Windfall, and top players from all over the country, helping us draw up fair and balanced brackets that make us made sense. <laughs> and nobody complained. Amazing. If you take input from players, your tournament is better. <laughs> Sam and Mick are like, oh, I no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't this what I've been saying all along? If Evo had taken input from players, we would have fair and balanced brackets, Tetris DS instead of the shitty, unbalanced, snaking dominated broken Mario Kart DS. <laughs> what? <laughs> snaking dominated broken Mario Kart DS. That means he can't do snaking. I think snaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snaking's the when you yeah. bounce from like left to right to build up your boost and yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, it, yeah. like it legitimately though, if you're in the top l- level of Mario Kart DS, like you just have to do it. That's a strat. But if you yeah, can't yeah. do it, it's very annoying because like I can't do that, mm-hmm. so I can't even win. 
but it does suck. But I'm saying if you're a top player, that means comes with the territory. That's right? the technique. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyways, two out of three CVS two games that have horrible single match. Intro music for top eight at both Evo West <laughs> East and finals. <laughs> wants it to be WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> this is coming from Stratford, Connecticut. DSP! He would have blew his load if that was the case. Uh, mm. Not allowing people to get seeds at both Evil East and West. Cough, cough, Seth. And basically create buys in the top 48 mm. bracket just because people at Evo staff want special treatment. I don't know if that's true or not. Mm. Not allowing people to get C- uh, but not allowing any buys in the top forty eight for people who don't show up for the finals and got seeds at the qualifiers, but instead having a last minute playoff because the so close finishers who actually show up at Evo finals to play. A but oh, that other feels like stuff. another yeah, yeah. That's a that's a that's a just in sort of dig in it again. But, but of course, as I said a million times before in the other threads, Evo staff has made no effort to consult the players. Instead, we have to put up with bullshit. Just because Evo is where the money is. Sigh. All right. But then underneath. No, I'm Johnny Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Funk chimes in. Chen and Sirloin say hi. Also, there should be no subjective message. Oh, um, uh, method, so this person, there's, there should be no yeah. subjective method used to determine brackets because that opens things up to all kinds of corruption. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Either use an actual ranking system or just stick with regional seating. Player opinions in and, of the, in and of themselves mean nothing because they can very well be wrong. Great point. Mm-hmm. NFL players and announcers keep insisting that quarterbacks are what win games and the skill positions in general are the key, yet people who actually have studied all the available data find that the game is a true team effort and that the left tackle is the most important position on offense after QB. Human beings are often deceived by their eyes as they focus on what happens rather than what doesn't happen, which is often more important. Very ph- philosophical post here from Josh the Funk yes, Doc. Very deep. Very yeah. well. Check in on James Chen. James Chen is going to respond with a bit of a book here, uh, but he does say, I just figure, I, I just want to figure out how people can think Evo staff gets special treatment when I myself was included in this year's black bracket. Of death, even though I was left off Phil's list of names. Thanks. I like that, by the way. So this is a little dig at James Chen. Phil just took. He he, he listed all the big net players on the Brack bracket, but he didn't list James Chen because I guess he doesn't think James Chen is 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 a top player. But and even Phil admitted his bracket was easier. If Phil was the front runner for winning ST, as he said he was, and there really is conspiracies. Don't you think he would have had a harder bracket if we dislike him as much as we as he thinks we do? Boom. Yeah. Don't you think he would have had a harder bracket if we dislike mm-hmm. him as much as he thinks we do? Yeah. If we were out to fuck you over, don't you think we'd actually have fucked you over? A- <laughs> it's at, a fair you, point, like, yeah. As you just told us, you weren't fucked over, right, Phil? You just told us you weren't yeah, yeah. fucked over, right? So, mm-hmm. hey. Anyways, come on. There's no conspiracies here. I've been on both the infamous Brack Brackets of Death. Hell, <laughs> Inkbot was in the first Brack Bracket of Death. There haven't been any other all, really awful Brack Brackets all these past years. And all other pseudo Brack Brackets of other years have been all been minor compared to these two. And hell, I've been in both of them. So if anyone should complain, it should be me. Since I've been the only one stuck in both. But that's the luck you get when the brackets are seated randomly. And there's going to be a few unfortunate brackets and occasionally a really awful brack bracket every four years. <laughs> okay, last point. I want to read all of that. Well, well done. <laughs> you do it. You do well. <laughs> this whole we did we don't listen to the community thing really needs to stop, Phil. It, he doesn't say Phil, but I just said it. He's talking mm-hmm. to Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind you, mm-hmm. it's the linchpin of your whole complaint scheme, Phil. He does say Phil there. Well, there you go. He does say <laughs> Phil. Yeah. <laughs> outside of yelling about that and coming up with your irrelevant examples like Mario Kart instead of Tetris, you don't have even a slight understanding of the Mario Kart decision at all. You really don't have any arguments. As I said in a previous thread. You went with Tekken 5 at ECC instead of Tekken 5 DR, despite what the community wanted. And explain your decision in that interview with much woe-is-me talk to garner sympathy for your unpopular decision. So I don't want to hear it. I won't lie. I agree with a couple of things you mentioned in that list, but some of them are there just to pad your argument with things you think can make it seem more like we don't listen to the community. 
After having players tell us we have lag on the TVs and us going out to buy 20 TVs that night after midnight, 50 miles away, how can you even claim we don't listen to the community anymore? I really don't understand. Mm -hmm. James Chen coming in hot. Extremely yeah. hot. It's where King Sly would have like played this, the, the gun sound effect. Yes, bang, moment. bang. Mm. I don't yep. want to steal that, but there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copyright. Oh, cool. we, oh, shit. We don't owe him royalties for that, do we? <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joden's comment. <laughs> I really like Brack Metal. <laughs> Steve loves Brack Metal, too. <laughs> okay. So, oh, dumbass well conspiracy theories aside, do you think there's a better way than random bracketing? I mean, no one body would. Yeah. So. I agree with this so much. Like, you can't have anything else but random, okay? This wouldn't matter. To yeah, ra random is the only really fair way to do it if you, if you, you know. Yeah. So if, um, if, if you want to be, like, perfectly neutral, random is just everyone's name in a hat pulled out and random, you know? So James Chen responds to that person and says, and I just want to point this out because it's definitely directed at Phil. Uh, P.S. Thank you, Havoc911, for the constructive post. I'm sick of the flaming that goes on around here. That is just directed mm -hmm. at Phil because, as you can see, Phil was the only person that flames on this post. Yeah. Everyone else has legitimate concerns and, and seems to care. Um, but uh, FM Jaguar says, uh, I'm not sure what people are saying about zip codes. Random by zip code is the same as random by region, except that it's more accurate. Mm -hmm. For instance... Uh, when you see use the state Cali people were counted together, regardless of locale, it's no, North California, South California people in NJY were not. Zip codes give actual distances, so this doesn't happen. Oh, so anyways, he's saying like zip codes is better than region. Uh, mm -hmm. Ponder, one of the Cannon brothers does stop in here, so we have to read that, of course. Oh! Uh, 156, want to make sure I'm there. Yeah, okay. So the re so Phil says, just so we get the full comparison here, we're, we're coming to an end. Want to make sure we don't miss anything here. Ponder, uh, the reason why mm -hmm. Brack Brackets have been having Evo for years now is because the people that run Evo, that would be the Cannon Brothers, uh, on a consistent basis... So this guy. ...are not <laughs> one gamers. Of, like, yes, one of, one of guy, these yeah. people, he's, remember he called him and said he's not a gamer, right? He has no mm -hmm. idea about who is good, who is bad, and who deserves a seed, even though they work for the SRK forum. But okay, I guess they don't know. You are wrong. We haven't done any seeding by skill in years, only seeding by region. If we seeded by skill, there's no way Justin Wong, Mo Prima, and some random Japanese player who Justin himself predicted would win the tournament could make it into the same bracket. So fuck you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than take responsibility and create fair brackets, this is Phil talking about what they're doing, they're probably giving a few favored player seeds and then randomizing everything else. Maybe they feel this takes responsibility for bra brackets away from them, but it doesn't. And then Ponder's response, sorry, no, they're completely randomized after seeding by region. People disagree as to who the best players are, especially once you get past the top two or three. The only thing that they can agree on is that they don't want to play people they play day in and day out at a large gathering. So we seed by region. Sounds good to me. This completely yeah. hedges off people bickering about who gets seeded and who doesn't, and any claims of bias of the staff. Yes, this means you will almost always get a bracket of death, law of averages, which leads mm -hmm. to complaints. You know what? When we did seed, we always got complaints that Choi, Cole, Watson, and the Wolves got free rides in the tournament because they never had to play each other and were therefore move more likely to finish in the top eight, ensuring that they wouldn't have to play each other next tournament either. You can't please everyone. Okay? You can't please everyone. Yep. Yeah, and it's fair. And it, gets, it happens sometimes. You, you do get bad brackets. You know, sometimes a couple of people will be there in the same run and you'll be like, oh, fuck, why do I have to fight these three people, you know? Um, so some, yeah. there's some very normal and logical back and forth here that involves people that aren't DSP. Uh, so let's get to the more ir 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 the more insane DSP. Here it is. Um, this is from DSP. Uh, make sure I know that 165. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is sorry. This is not. I think it's. I'm not sure if this is DSP. I'm gonna roll down here. Okay. Yeah. I think this is DSP because of this person. But to have more to the but to get more to the point, if you can see it on the screen, I want to make sure he says that. Mm -hmm. But to get more to the point, yeah, it is right here. Okay, so it is DSP. Want to make sure there's. But to get more to the point, this is DSP. I wasn't sure, but this is DSP, 100. Mm -hmm. uh, LOL. Now ECC was rigged. Give me a break. I wish SRK had a scrub filter. For the first <laughs> time in years, people were praising the way ECC was run. Not only for time constraints, but for fair brackets. Very rarely was there a situation where people who play with each other all the time faced each other in the first few rounds of a tournament. Uh, I even personally floated a few people to make it more fair. I guess you just can't please idiots. 
But to get more yeah, to the he's point. He's right about that. Oh, by the way, Just... uh, Phil never responded to James Chan, who was going at him. He, that's a mm -hmm. very common thing we see here. Uh, Phil, when someone has, like, <clears throat> direct points at him, and they're like, mm -hmm. you know, Phil has no response, he doesn't get responses, but then when he, you know, he'll go 50 posts later and find something he can respond to and then jumps on that. So Phil thinks he can respond to Zalir yeah. here. But, but uh, he James didn't Chan, respond to Ponder. Eh, James Chan and Ponder, they don't need any responses, okay? No, no, no need. Ain't block, no. Yeah, you. can't do that. Can't do Bam. that. <laughs> but here we go. But to get more to the point, what is it, why is it that ECC had similar entry numbers to Evo East, yet avoided having a brack bracket? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because we know how to draw our own brackets. Let me put it this way. If I face either of the Wolf Brothers, Justin Wong, Daigo, or Dion at an AE tournament at Evo Finals before top eight, your brackets are ass, and you have no idea what you're doing. It's that simple. The whole idea behind seeding is to keep the highest ranked seeds apart until the end of the tournament. If this isn't done, the whole system is a sham, and we just consider it a random seeding tournament. Evo, But right you're going to have to face those people anyway. This is really trying. This is really just trying to make it easier for him to get to the finals, right? That's what it really sounds Brack like. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, a great band. <laughs> uh, but Evo right now needs to set up a solid seating system. People who place high in this year's Evo should not be facing each other first, second round next year's Evo, regardless of what results of regionals have been. Right now, I should have the number one strike ranked seed in AE since I was the highest <laughs> ranked player in AE. <laughs> there it is, boys. I should be the number one ranked seed because I was the highest U.S. player placer last year at ST, and I won Evo East. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you get mm -hmm. for fourth though? Hold on, Justin, you still awake? What do you get for fourth? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. But Phil is yeah, saying cheers, that you Justin. should get you should get the first ranked seed. But anyways, <laughs> the only person who should get a seed over me is yeah because he won last year, or Oniki or Tokido who came in third, second, and third. But I should definitely be as far as possible from the Wolves, a top-ranked Japanese, if this seed seeding system is really in place. Mm -hmm. Nice. Anyways, let's keep going. FM Jaguar, the Legends, chimes in. Your seeds, as far as I'm will give you a buy, and you, Justin the Wolves, should be on opposite corners as the East-West top seed. Everything else is fair game. Uh, that also says that the qualifiers will be placed randomly. So, yeah, everything other than you're facing the West seeds is fair game. Okay. Uh, to DSP... I felt ECC ran smoothly. Good job on your part. There we go. So we got a little mm -hmm. Zalore here. Yeah, He's yeah. saying good job. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. This person is responding to Darkseid Oh, they did call him out, though. Or was it? Uh, uh, just that you personally floated. You do know that floating is never fair, right? Oh, Someone yeah, definitely. is getting put into a worse position. Doesn't matter much if it only involves people who aren't going to place anyway, but it still isn't fair. Thanks for that. Yes, I agree with That's that. That's a whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. So like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Predetermined results isn't Justin wins a lot of tournaments, so he gets first seed, or Justin won that tournament last week that we had held qualifiers for, he gets first seed. Has to be yeah, random, that's fair. Okay? It's that. Yeah. A lot of people responding to DSP now. Or could it be mm -hmm. that having the same amount of people as Evo East, but twice as many pools avoided a brack bracket? I don't know much <laughs> about AE, but it seems that there is 10 to 12 people who are considered threats to win it all. Much easier to spread those 12, 10 to 12 among eight pools and avoid problems with four pools. If you had four pools as Evo, I can guarantee there'd be a brack bracket of death. It's impossible not to. <laughs> Next. Mm -hmm. Are you insinuating that I drew up bad brackets, Phil? If so, that hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Um, I do see there's one final post from FM, but it's the FM from Jaguar. Mm -hmm. Nothing much there. Unfortunately, Phil does not clap back in the rest of this post. I guess people just had too many good good points because uh, mm -hmm. Phil dipped. Um, and that is pretty much it. I can't say anything else yeah. about this thing. I, but... for one, am shocked that Phil did not respond to either of the Cannon Brothers or their, their issues or Absolutely. Any, any of the other um, people who were involved and know more than him and, you know, uh, are seen socially superior by the rest of the community. It's kind of funny how that always happens. I don't know. Very out of character. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed tonight. A uh, good look at how long exactly Phyllis hated the Cannon Brothers. And we didn't even bring up Rollback Netcode, which of course... Uh, <laughs> no, but that got, that got scrub quoted, didn't it? That got quoted on Twitter by scrub quotes. Yeah. Mm. So the bottom line is thus... Uh, Phil has been hated for so long that we can go as far back as we go. He's he's been hated himself, but he's also mm -hmm. hated people more successful than him. 
and yeah. uh, definitely the Cannon Brothers are, are in that boat, right? <laughs> they are in that boat of being more successful than DSP and have done so much for community. That it's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. But Phil has to find ways to shit on them and hate them since 2001. Mm-hmm. Uh, another also worth noting, we did get that Hogan pull today. Uh, the ten star Hogan has been pulled by Toxic <laughs> Jerry Juice, legend in the house. Gonna have to make but another the prestige one. one. It's Not still the out there, isn't yes, it? Yes, thank you for saying that. Prestige is still out there. Follow your dreams. One day you can pull that prestige Hogan. One in three thousand or whatever odds for that one, but good luck. Mm. Tomorrow, WPIG back on air, 7.30 a.m., four hours of the hits to get you ready for the Sunday show, which has Brand Dude coming in hot. That should be a lot of fun. Talk to Brand Dude. And I guess I have to announce now who's going to be on next week. Right, Steve? Uh, uh, I suppose you do. Yeah, it is nearly the end. So we and, have edged people. And, of course, the happy news, you are getting your surgery. But that, that will lead to a little bit of ha- unhappy news that you will be leaving the Density Scrolls for just uh, for a few weeks, right? We should let them for, know that. For a while, yeah. I, yes. d- I don't quite know how long it will be, but it will be a bit, yeah. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, but you will yeah. be there next week, right? Next week, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm All there right. next week. So joining myself and Steve of the Dead will be the legend that we've heard. Uh, yeah, we've heard Rip tri- <laughs> uh, Phil, a new asshole, many times. <laughs> We've heard him a few times, haven't we? Yes, we've had him. <laughs> he goes by the name of Ski Sonic. Ski Sonic joining Density Scrolls next week. Uh, he said it's cool. As long as we get the schedule worked out, we're going to make it happen. I'm very, <laughs> very, very excited for this. And Ski Sonic will be in the house. Uh, yep. I haven't decided what we're going to talk about yet because I got. I want to talk with him and find some good yeah. points. But, uh, I do want to play some highlights from that fucking episode, though. I'll tell you that right the fuck now. <laughs> So oh my God. we are going to have some A desperate highlights. measure. Yes. Yeah, a desperate yes. measure. That was such a good episode. We got to hear, uh, <laughs> call it the Snitchinator. Oh, God, it's going to be fun. That'll be next week, though. Snitchinator's going to be in the house, and Steve will be back with us, too. Mm-hmm. Ski Sonic and Steve of the Dead next Saturday. Tomorrow, that being said, is on the air, so see you then. Mm-hmm. Everyone's a legend. Thanks so much, Down Four Punch, for those amazing member bomb. You're a legend. Everyone's a legend here. We'll see you next one. Steve, final word, go ahead. Uh, also, after we do that being said... Uh, I'm on the React with Decepticron and oh, Snood. Sick. So, yeah, yeah. I'm Justin Wong! Nice pull! Nice pull! The champion, Justin Wong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess I should say this as well. Is there really a case here, or are you just being you? <laughs> that was the quote of the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and big ups. Oh, and as, as always, everybody, please stay away. Whatever you do, stay away from those brack brackets. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>